Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and get going. Make sure my mic is working. It is working. Good. Okay, cool. Uh, just fixing some technical issues before we got going and finishing up some stuff for later. How's it going, guys? Uh, I apologize for not streaming yesterday. I had a bunch of stuff I just kind of had to do and I couldn't put off, so I decided not to stream. I do apologize about that. Uh, we'll be streaming on weekends normally from here on out, though. We are returning to the Mega Campaign. Took a week off from that, but we are back to it. So we left off last time with King Lissandro of Sardinia, who is now 39 years old. Much like many of his recent ancestors and recent members of the Torres dynasty, he has had both a rough upbringing, a very, we'll go with strong character, but just crippled with, uh, with problems. Notably for King Lissandro, that's the brutality with which he rules, and also, of course, his many poor habits, of which alcohol, much like many of our family, is, of course, one of them. He is diligent, ambitious, callous and zealous obviously we had the sort of joan of arc character who came around in the early days who is no longer around i don't i don't know what happened with her i don't know if she died but she disappeared at some point uh recently we ended last time when we attempted the invasion of barcelona obviously our family has a very strong rivalry with the barcelona family but we failed uh when he was young there was an invasion of Sardinia to take Majorca by one of the members of the Barcelona family. While we were in a crusade too, mind you, uh, we managed to defeat them, push them back, and take a ridiculous amount of gold from their treasury. I think we got somewhere around 1,600. Um, we then obviously uh, created an army, grew in strength over the reign of Lissandro, and he invaded uh, a couple years back. After, I think, I think that war lasted two or three years, he did completely lose, and we were forced to settle with horrible terms. We lost, I think, around 1,200 gold. We've gotten a little bit of it back, but we're still really deep in debt. Uh, and obviously, we have a large army to maintain now. We've got 11,000 soldiers. I mean, it's almost 1,300, but it's not the best shape for House Torres or the Kingdom of Sardinia right now. We're, we're not in a very good position, uh, broadly speaking. We obviously are still married to our wife, Queen uh, Etienne, who is the Princess of France. We also now have a rivalry with the royal family of France, the Boyone family. We have a full-on in-game rivalry with them as well. He is a deviant and uh, has many characteristics we don't like, so it's a good rival to have. But uh, it's definitely going to be rough having rivalries with these two massive families that are much more powerful than we are in many ways what's up trucker nero how's it going how's it going xc zepter hell yeah sick of stream man glad uh glad you could make it what's up okay what else do we have obviously we have two children we have a daughter princess juana named after the great warrior woman who came from uh, no major title and led our warriors to victory against the fat mints uh, who has now disappeared our daughter who's also apparently gay Oh boy. Uh, we also got our heir, Prince Balthazar, who is a callous and bossy 10-year-old. He is hawk-eyed, and he's pretty smart, but we're not sure how smart he is quite yet. He's clearly very intelligent, but we'll have to see. Very strong, good warrior, good martial instincts. No real diplomatic ability. Also a theme in our family's history. We're, we're very confident, just not with speaking or, or inner human... Uh, contact or, or words we struggle with words a lot so yet another example of that for our family we've obviously got our extended family as well but generally speaking we're not close to them king lissandro has ruled primarily with dread i mean even for example his wife the queen is terrified of him uh, i mean he does cut quite an imposing figure so anyway, that's where we're at we've got like a pseudo tyrant on the throne of sardinia he's mentally stable he's not like having mental breaks and like going crazy but he's also a pretty shitty dude so yeah that's the that's the state of house taurus let's go ahead and continue what's up alex how you doing what's your opinion on the darkest hour mod i tried it like once it seemed to be very well made but kind of like historical uh, Hoi mods don't really do it for me that well anymore. It seems all right. So I just bought CK3. Yeah, it's a it's a great game. It really is, Susie. What's up, Haggy? 
As I walk outside, I'm greeted by the sight of my vassal, Kiradori Aziza, crouching beside my cat, Flame, tootling petting his head. This is quite the lovely cat you have. Goddamn right. His one redeeming characteristic is he's had a pet cat for his whole life that he loves dearly. This man loves nothing. Not his wife, not his children. He loves two things. Power and his cat. Which, you know, that's a... You gotta respect that a little bit, you know. Even horrible, horrible fucking tyrants have redeeming characteristics. Not really redeeming characteristics, but a little bit. Our daughter can marry. She is of age. She is 17. We'll need to find her a husband. <laughs> we could actually marry her to the King of England. Given that we are actively rivals with the royal, uh, with the King of France, we were a pseudo puppet, but that was always kind of like in a middle ground. We were never directly integrated. So given our rivalry now with the Kingdom and Royal Family of France, I think a good way to set that clearly in stone would be to betroth and marry our daughter to the King of England, King William the 10th, strong man, famous champion, powerful lungs. Uh, he's a brilliant strategist. All around a very powerful title, very powerful kingdom. He's also colonizing Greenland. <laughs> the English are up to a lot. So yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll marry our daughter to the King of England, which will set us apart from the French. Hopefully we can help out with the English taking more of their throne there. What will happen if he cat, his cat dies? Probably a murderous rage. Yeah, he's, he's going to probably do some pretty horrible stuff. That'd be my guess. We'll see if my guy is still fighting the crusade in Andalusia. That cat is the only thing keeping him from world domination. True. Uh, you're looking extra blue today. I apologize for the coloring. I'll try and fix it. Boys, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I had a little bit of a Tarkov addiction. Uh, yeah. Escape from Tarkov, I got a little too into. And anyway, I changed my computer like color settings to like be able, like I maxed out the colors and contrast so I could see every piece of movement in Tarkov so I could, you know, kill more fucking scavs and get their sweet, sweet loot. So I tried to fix it before the stream. My attempts to do so um, were not the most successful. Let me try something again. Let me know if this gets better. That's a, that's a little bit better. I'm going to have to play with it some more. I also obviously learned I, I can't change my color settings to play Tarkov, which sucks. But uh, trying to fix this every time I try and stream from here on out is not viable. So let me try this again. I don't know where the fucking blue is coming from. not it ah all right i will i will have to do more of this later i do apologize about this that's why i was a bit late i was trying to fix my fucking settings so anyway uh has england had 10 straight williams in a row i believe so i've seen william the fourth and the eighth but it's only been around 200 years i don't know where they're all coming from um there's a lot of them his father was the ninth his grandfather was walter nope william william William. Okay, so it went from William the... It, it skipped a couple numbers from the looks of it. Because it was William the Ninth, then it was William the Eighth, and then it was William the Fourth. So they jumped four Williams. So yeah, it's a little weird. There's not been ten of them, though. I see I am sitting my troops down right now. Hopefully the Pope uh, won't kill me for being active. Check the history of the Kingdom of England. 8th, 9th, 8th, Prince William the Crownless, the 6th, the 5th, the 4th, so it went up to the 6th, so I guess this was the 7th, Prince William the Crownless, then the 8th and 9th, yeah, they've all been named William, holy shit, they actually have all been named William, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, well, 1 somewhere, yeah, 1, wow, yeah, there's been 10 Williams, that's wild. All right, wonderful. Our daughter has been married to the king. How's it going, Vammy? What is up? That never happens. No, it doesn't. That's very, that's very fucking interesting. I have not seen that before either. We're gathered here today to witness the marriage of King William of England and Queen Juana of England. 
Beautiful. All right, our daughter is married. We have an alliance with England now, which is very strong. We're going to need their help to go after Barcelona and the French, and we've been called into a war with the Scottish. We'll send a small contingent of soldiers to help them. We also need more knights, but we are fucking broke, so uh, we'll send a very small contingent. Isn't there a way to only raise, like, certain men-at-arms? Does anyone know? Could have sworn there was a way to do that. Yeah, okay, I'll just have to manually do it this way. We'll send a contingent of armored footmen, crossbowmen, and pikemen. And then we'll uh, yeah, we'll send them underneath our marshal to go help the English, just uh, to show up for our ally, so we don't go broke sending our whole army. As Queen Wanda's eyes widen up my words, I realize that I have admitted to I struggled to push my ticket away. I've had too much. Don't listen to what I say. What the fuck did we say? We talked about someone we murdered. I think we've only murdered one person. Oh, we've murdered more than that. Oh boy. We told our daughter that we mur murdered someone. That is going to probably come back to haunt us at some point. All right, we are currently in the process of trying to kill the King of France, too. I forgot we were doing that. He's trying to kill us right now, and we're trying to kill him. There's two murder plots against us right now, I believe. Yes, there are. One of them is definitely King Aubrey II, and uh, we are trying to kill him, too. So neither of us are very good at it. We feast a dance later to the night, but it was last is time to head home. Oh, yeah, they don't like each other too much, but that's fine. It's a political marriage. They just need to have kids and hold the alliance down. Let's go ahead and hold court as well. My lord, I promise a cadastral survey of all counties you own. Improved knowledge and mapping of your land will certainly increase its prosperity. We cannot afford that. An envoy from a provincial city, Kiridore Kadidu of Fadala, has come to protest the abuse his city has been suffering at the hand of its neighbors, suffragan Bishop Mezian under the protection of their liege, Shadek Agdun of Tamazna. They occupy and repossess our arable land by force and threaten the landowners with spiritual damnation and maternal violence to make them sell their belongings. I beg of you, my lord, do us justice. These are Catholics. Yeah, well, if they're if they're Christians, that's they can do that. One of my guards approaches me with my guest Tafunut in his chains. I caught him here in the process of sending sensitive information to spies in Titoan. Where the fuck is that? Oh, it's an emirate. What should we do with him? We are obviously going to have him executed. We caught a fucking spy. There's a lot of spies in our court. It would be really cool if at some point they do uh, institute like an espionage system for CK. Like they've kind of got one already in the game, but I think a much more detailed one would be really cool for like, you know, different courts and stuff. Getting close to strategist. All right, it's going to take us quite a while to gain back that gold. And until we do, there's really not much we can do, to be honest. Let's also send our marshal to help with the siege of Edinburgh. Today, my son Balsazar was taught a lesson in vassal management by Gabinu. It was quite a complicated course. Necessary, but perhaps a bit beyond Balsazar's grasp. I must let things take their time. Only by being patient and letting my subjects work at their own pace may I rule wisely. Balsazar seems unaware that some subjects would willingly waste his time. He became patient. That's a good thing, I guess. Very different than us. We're not, we're not the patient type, but I guess he will be. One of these days, we're going to get a son and an heir who's not going to be horrible or fucked up. And yeah, it'll be beautiful. I don't know if that will be Balthazar, but I hope so. A spy is coming to you with grave news. Well, we do not know yet who. Someone is plotting to kill my wife, Queen Etienne. That's surprising. Did we lose all our soldiers? We did. Yeah, we got stack wiped. That's unfortunate. My king, your knight swindless. He just he just won't stop eating poached pears? What the fuck? Man. 
We'll get him to pull himself together, I guess. Some of these events, I swear. So generally speaking, obviously King Lissandro kind of has his tail between his legs. Like he, he got absolutely smashed in Barcelona after spending most of his life, right? I mean, he started ruling when he was seven, uh, building up a massive army for Sardinia. We're very strong now, but the fact that we couldn't even win against Barcelona would be a pretty heavy blow. Um, so really what we're trying to do is recover, put together the alliances needed to go back and beat Barcelona. When we're done with that, we're going to probably want to find a way to, to go to war with the French too, who are very strong. But if we could defeat the French who are both our rivals and who had far too much influence over Sardinia for a while, it would be a really good way to kind of, you know, set Sardinia up as an independent, respected kingdom again. Because we're really not at the moment. The man in charge of cleaning the clothes of King Aubrey's guards is brought to me. No one will notice him tampering with our clothes and someone distracted before the guards be planted. What do you have of me, my lord? We can't afford it, but we hate the fucking king of France, so we're gonna pay for it. We're gonna... We're gonna take a small loan of a million dollars. What's up, cheese? Not too much, man. Yeah, we... we our daughter married the, uh, the king of England. That was the major thing. He's young, he's strong, he's the tenth fucking William in this game somehow. And he hates the French almost as much as we do. As Flame approaches me with yet another dead rat, I can do nothing but praise him. The castle has never been this free of rodents before. Good fucking cat. Hell yeah. And we have a dynasty legacy. Alrighty. What are we thinking for this one? For this, uh, for this dynasty legacy. We've gone two into warfare, two into blood, and two into kin at this point. What do, uh, what do folks think? I'll do a poll for anything suggested. Squire. What's a Thule? Squire, Squire, Squire. Where is Squire at? Oh, Squire Traditions, of course. So, uh, Warfare. Warfare, Glory, Kin. Glory would give us Desirable Match and increase our marriage acceptance. Kin would give us Constant Care, which would give everyone a medium boost and spouse opinion bonuses and fewer complications during pregnancy. And Warfare would give Squire Traditions, which would give us monthly martial lifestyle progress and they're less likely to be wounded in battle and a higher chance of getting prestige serving as knights. So I'll do a quick poll for those three then. So why the fuck is my camera blue? I'm gonna try and fix it again while I run this poll. All right, let me look at my color settings again. This may get really weird. Give me a second. that do it? Must be something I have on. <sighs> Fuck, man. Fuck. All right, I did my best. I don't know where that color is coming from. Because I've I reset my fucking color settings now. Alright, that's fine. What is the poll looking like? Warfare. That's oh, tied three ways. God damn. Alrighty. Oh. The English are actually having some trouble winning up here. God damn. The Pomeranians are supporting the Scottish. That's an odd one. 
<laughs> a plush carpet, vibrant and soft, arises a gift from King Aubrey of France. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. Why he would send me such an exquisite gift, I do not know, but the fine weave of the carpet is as pleasing as the touch of the skin of a lover. We're gonna burn it. That's what we're gonna do. There's no way in hell we're accepting a carpet from our rivals in Paris. Not, not a chance in hell. That was, that was a little too obvious, I will say. Alright, Kin, we're gonna go for constant care. We'll get a increase to health, spouse opinion, and less uh, bad pregnancies. Wonderful. Can I look at a kid screaming meme? I know, man. I'm trying to... I can't figure it out. I changed my color settings for another game, and they they just didn't go back right after I tried to fix it. So there's one other thing I'm going to try, just because this is bugging me. I, I should stop. I literally spent 20 minutes before streaming trying to fix this. Um... Making it green. <laughs> Fuck! That made it worse. Somehow. Oh, Jesus Christ. I had my settings really good like two weeks ago. It's okay? Stop now? Alright. Alright. Cool. Is this good? It also doesn't help that I'm fairly colorblind, I'm gonna be honest. So, is that good? Alright, we'll leave it there then. Light, light colors just don't work well with my vision, so. Appreciate it. Alright, anyway, let's continue. Your family views on how Shporgani are enemy and will receive rewards for besting them. Killing, torturing, cuckolding, stealing artifacts, and winning wars against its members will increase your score. Ooh, what's our intrigue like? 15, it's not bad. We could try and cuckold the King of France. We like our wife a lot, though. And we're a devout Christian, so we wouldn't cheat on our wife by trying to screw the Queen of France. So that's out of the out of the question. I mean, we're trying to murder him. We'll just keep going with that, I guess. We could try and murder his kids if that fails. All right, our marshal is dead. We're gonna need to find another one. We'll go ahead and go for Jedi Gabinu. No, he's on. Let's see if we can get a better chancellor. We need, we need Gabino as our Chancellor. We'll go with Kiridori Iyad of Lorca as our Marshal. He's not the most competent, but he's fairly powerful. So we'll go with him, and then we'll get him to return control to Lagodoro. Because it did get sieged up by the Barcelonans. I forgot about that. Our son does not want to be trained in sword combat. That is disappointing. We are Prestige 7. We have one of the better courts in the world. The rampant poverty definitely diminished that, but it will come back with time. Are you playing with any mods? Yes, I am, Chief. I've got like 50 mods on or something. If you like the list, I can link it to you. Big Dick Lissandro, Cucks French Royalty. Fuck you, Barcelona. You're next. What's up, Degenerate? How are you doing? Yeah, no, if we had any other character I could justify it with, we'd definitely try to cuckold the King of France. Lissandro's not that type of dude. He, he's willing to do many things in life. Many, many horrible things for what he wants. Fucking outside his marriage vows, ironically, are not going to be one of them, I don't think. I mean, he's ambitious, diligent, callous, but zealous. I mean, you know, it's just, it's, that's, not his, that's not his thing. Another fucking carpet from the French? Do they think that we have no respect for upholstery in Sardinia? No, they want to kill us. That's what this is. A plush carpet, vibrant and soft, arrives as a gift from the princess of France, our sister-in-law. I wonder what that could be. Hmm. We're gonna burn it. Like all the <laughs> other French carpets were being sent by people that hate us. They think they're slick. 
What's that George Bush quote? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, you can't get fooled again. I think that applies here. You know? That's all I'm saying. We're gonna go drinking. We clearly know that our rivals in France are, are trying to kill us. The carpets are obviously filled with snakes. We know what they are. So we're gonna go get absolutely shit-faced to deal with this. It's very stressful trying to be murdered, you know? That's a... That's a surprisingly dripped out Pope. Those spectacles on that jawline is a... That's a sight to behold. God damn. Pope Lucius, man. You gotta tone the drip down. It's a little too much. Our wife is pregnant. Oh. To the impressive King Lissandro Sardinia. You and I should be friends, not foes. Aren't you a goddamn heathen? <laughs> Heathens. <laughs> Fucking cowards. I accept this gift in exchange for your signature on a treaty of mutual goodwill. We are poor. But I'll be damned before we make a deal with a goddamn heathen. We're gonna say no. <laughs> Fuck! King Aubrey has sent me a gift. A lavishly decorated box filled with gold. As I run my hands through the coins, I feel as if the room starts spinning around me. As my breath grows short. Fuck. I think we may have lost. God damn it. You, you, we, no, don't take the gifts from the fucking French. Jesus. We might die. We might die here, to be honest. Huh? Well, our health is fine. We just got poisoned. That's that's what that was. He just poisoned us. We have a 5% chance of succeeding. The stonemasons of Almeria are well regarded elsewhere for the quality of their work. Sometimes they are even commissioned by wealthy patrons from afar to be involved in their projects. Wonderful. I mean, we are the beating trade hub of the Mediterranean, up there with Constantinople. Our cat just gave us some money, nice. He knows about our debt and he's helping out, you gotta respect that. We'll make Archon Karuli the second, our spy master. For our marshal, we lost yet another one. Okay, we are going through them so quick. We will proclaim Archon Abdul, the Impaler, as our new marshal. He's very powerful. And uh, he's done a good job of bringing control to our North African holdings, so we'll reward him even though he's not the most competent. Let's get some control in Granada. Just a reminder, we do have a holding in Africa that we took last time, and we also have holdings from our mother in uh, Cordoba as well. A local mystic insisted on seeing me, and upon me brought into my presence, he started wailing, and... Is that blood in his hands? The signs! The signs are not in your favor, my lord. I spilled the intestines of a hen, and the blood showed me your future. It's dark and full of death. We've had that before. It's not the first time we've been told that. Knowing how soldiers act around each other, noticing how freely information and rumor flows, I am stuck with an idea. If some of my own soldiers were to infiltrate King Aubrey's army, they might offer a different insight into his plans. Yeah, let's go for it. It's a very thick HRE, absolutely. It's fucking huge. Did we just get poisoned? Yes, we did. We were just poisoned, and we survived. I mean, look into the eyes of this man. The eye of this man. There's only one. That's my bad. You really think some common fucking French poison is going to kill King Lissandro? No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We broke that toxin down in our body real quick. You know why? We're a lifelong alcoholic, and if there's one thing our liver can do, it can get over insurmountable odds. So that poison, we barely even felt it. Nothing compared to our nightly drinking binges. I'm observing some of the local priests at work studying dense and arcane ancient texts. Suddenly, one of the priests says, Oh dear, this manuscript won't do it all. The colors of the illustrations aren't good. Perhaps they should suggest a better source of pigment to illustrate the manuscript. We're actually very well educated. I forgot about that. You don't notice it with this guy, but he is very well educated. Earwax. Was that real? Earwax was a useful as a binding medium when mixed with various powdered substances. That was a real thing? Oh. Uh. Urine, I know that one. Urine actually did make for a lot of color. Color for stones. We'll go with urine. That was the common way to do this. 
It's normal. Ish. Just to let you know, you picked up some holdings in the west coast of Africa as well as the Med. Did I really, Aces? I did not realize that. You are completely right. Oh my gosh. We do. We are part of Morocco because of uh, Abdulian Impaler. Apparently he was busy when we weren't looking. Thank you for telling me, man. Thank you for that. Yeah, we do. Abdul managed to conquer part of uh, what is now Morocco. We've got territory on the, the western coastline of Africa. God damn. That's unexpected. I mean, basically what they'd be is trading ports, right? I mean, we are... Before the martial kingdom we are now, we were a trading empire, right? And so that still applies. I mean, these would be trading hubs that we have conquered and then built up there. Damn. So we're trading probably down the coast of Africa at this point. I mean, we already have a huge trading network with the English to, to import all that ivory from Greenland, so... Goddamn. We really are, uh, quite powerful in terms of trade. Obviously not reflected in the game, but still. While all babies cry, but with little Olympia, there is no end to the tears. I deliberately went to the midlife to ease my worries, but her furred brow makes things worse. Our daughter is sick. Oh boy. The twists and turns of fate. Ah, oh, our rival died. The Count of Foix. Speaking of rivals. I need to go ahead and pin our boy here. And then I'll pin the King of England, because we're involved with him. And of course, we need to king uh, pin Duchess Gundilda, our other rival. We, 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 there's a lot of people we hate. There's a lot of people who hate us. It's a very toxic way to live life, but it's the path you go when you're a dreaded king, I guess. We'll go hunting to de-stress. When the time comes, my agents will need safe escape route from the King Aubrey's castle. Should anything go wrong, a detailed map in a local farmlands with all its hidden paths and caves would be an invaluable resource. We can go to France and do it ourselves. We're hunting right now. We technically, we're, our wife is French. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to, we're gonna go to hunting in Paris. We're gonna take a trip to France with our wife because we're going hunting. And we're going to use that as a chance to map out the local area around the capital. This is the one, uh, like, situation we'd actually go do it. We're taking our wife with us. It'll, it'll be wonderful. She'll get to see our relatives. We'll get to help plod the murder of her brother. I think brother. Yeah. So, good. Poachers here in the Jedi's woods. They huddled together as I ride up with my guards, making a poor job of hiding the dead heart behind them. We did not do this, your mercy. We'll hang them. That's what we do. Someone is planning to kill our son and heir, Balthazar. Oh boy. Well, we have daughters if he dies, I guess. But we haven't had a female ruler yet. All right, we successfully mapped the area around Paris. We had a, we had a good. Uh, trip to see our wife's family where we continue to plot the murder of the patriarch of their family Balthazar has been studying records of long past kings in the local region and was intrigued by one in particular Very little was recorded of the king in question just a name and a statement that he was so wise He managed to rule for 100 years quite an achievement Balthazar has a personal theory that he managed to live so long because the king was a true believer of God and through the numerous pious acts During his rule he was granted divine protection Ah, good lad. Our son became zealous like us. He is callous and zealous and patient now. That's an interesting combo, not gonna lie. Goddamn. And we are now a strategist. Lovely earwax. You gotta use that when you have uh when you have closest to you. I guess. Make make use of what you got. Fun well, fact, the roof of the Canadian Parliament was painted with horse piss. What's up, NTC? I didn't know that. That's terrifying. To be fair, it does beat asbestos. I'll say that. I'd rather have my ceilings painted with horse piss than asbestos. So, you know, you got to look at the, the, the upside of things like that, you know? So, yeah, we are in the Atlantic. We are. Also, she has 51 or 61 learning skills. I would have to run the game and see. Oh, 
What's up, Bitter? Didn't see you there. How's it going, man? For who? Wait, who, who is this, Cheese? I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Archon Karule, who has been announced that I should before me. Oh, good. He's just paying his dues. We are at Court Grandeur 8 now. How do we stack up in the world? I think we're pretty high up. Yeah. We have the fifth most prestigious court in the world right now. Goddamn. My spy map says come to your grave dudes. It is my rival, King Aubrey, that is plotting to kill me. I mean, come on. We, we knew that. That was just obvious. He's going to end his scheme for now. We're not going to end ours. We're, we're plotting to kill him, too. Let's see if we can bribe anyone to help us. Yep. There is one. My spy master has come to me with a discovery. He has certain that my guest Magnus is scheming against my son and heir, Balthazar. Who the fuck is this? Magnus. He's a murder to, he's a, he's a, yeah, we're going to throw him in jail. We're going to torture him until we find out who's trying to kill our son. Look how shady this dude looks too. Holy hell. Look at that. Are we going to put him in jail? Because there a way to demand like things from him. I haven't done much torture in this game. I'm going to be honest. Um, is he down in our prison? He died in our dungeons. Did he fucking kill himself? Fuck. We were gonna try and torture him until we find out who was trying to kill our son, but I, I guess he died. Either we killed him, our guards killed him, whoever he was working for killed him, or he killed himself. Died in captivity. Well, shit. That's ominous. We'll ask the Pope for gold. He clearly has it. He's got so much money for drip. Well, we do not yet. Uh, who? Someone is planning to kill our wife. God damn. We really need to to get a good spy master. Archon Karule is just not good enough. But we don't have a better option. We're gonna get him to support our schemes, because I want us to try and kill the king. My vassal genetic boss who approaches me rages his eyes. Uh, the, our cat destroyed his stuff. Who is this? Dude. Dude. Oh, it's from this. Oh, God. This family. <laughs> oh, God. We've got a really, um, what's the word? Inbred family in our kingdom. Jeez, fuck, man. This is this is why you gotta you gotta spread the gene pool out. My God. Oh God. <laughs> fuck. When did it start? Okay, it's only th it's three generations. What's up, Murphy? Doctor Murphy, how you doing, man? What's up, dude? Why are the Mongols green? It's an Orthodox Ilkhanate. That's why. It's uh, it, it's the Ilkhanate. They're Orthodox Christian, by the way. The Mongol, the heirs to the Mongol Empire in Iran and Byzantium became Orthodox. It's it's pretty fucking wild. Pilgrims traveling from Santiago are spreading news of the uprising that occurred in the city. Local banded, locals banded together in an unusual show of unity to stage an uprising against the Christian ecclesiastical authorities. Amongst their grievances is the disregard for their political privileges and religious customs. And most importantly, the desecration of the St. James Altar. When the structure was renovated under King Ordanu. King Ordanu has taken diplomatic and military steps to convince the insurgents to stand down. But the damage is done. Casimir Ordanu's archbishop was present at the city's cathedral when the mob attacked it. They went after him as he was the symbol of the religious leadership. Miraculously, perhaps thanks to divine intervention, he managed to escape. Wow, there's a bunch of political crisis in Spain right now. This is real. It happened uh, earlier. In 1116-1117, an uprising in Santiago was attempted to oust the city's first archbishop, Diego Galmiras, and culmination of years of local resentment against clerical authorities. 
While Galmiris first came to power as a bishop in 1100, he focused on centralizing ecclesiastical control and making the city a major center of pilgrimage. For instance, he enforced stricter laws on local clergy and curtailed many local rights in favor of the pilgrims. In particular, his renovation of the St. James tomb was seen as a desecration by many locals. Yeah, we got that event earlier, given it was supposedly built by the apostles' disciples. Ultimately, locals felt like the city was no longer their home and that he was now dominated by throngs of foreign pilgrims. Interesting. In 1116, the city's patricians and local clergy formed a secret brotherhood against Galmiris. During their subsequent uprising, many locals supported them in reclaiming local spaces lost to pilgrims. Damn, that's interesting. I didn't know, I didn't know about that. Yeah, so anyway, the inbred family is, uh, we've got, we've got several generations of them. Where are they from? Where's their, where's their title? It's one of our, one of our vassals. Where is he at? I'm curious now. Uh, here's his mother, Judesa Dalla. She is in Cagliari. Mm. Man, and then her son is a genetic of Galora. He owns Galora? Oh no, he's one of our family. the fuck has the rest of our extended family been doing? That's a forehead that can literally block a fucking, like, mace. Like, a hit from a mace. Look at that thing. It appears the the branches of the Taurus family, which have gone far away from the tree, are having some problems overlapping. King Aubrey is expecting a ship anchored in one of the harbors of the Sentionge later this week. It would be easy to have my agents drench the rowboat meant to ferry him out with flammable liquid. Wait until it's out in the middle of the harbor and launch a flaming arrow and then just let the water claim him. Let's fucking do it. 37% chance to kill our rival, the King of France, King Aubrey. We're going to attempt to blow up his fucking rowboat. Let's do it. Haha! <laughs> we actually got it. <laughs> yep. King Aubrey is dead. Claimed by the cold embrace of the ocean. The flaming arrow shot by my agent blazed a burning path across the harbor, and only moments later, the whole boat was up in flames. All passengers ended up in the water, and the fine fabric gets too heavy when wet. Unfortunately, the anchor couldn't be found. We actually killed the King of France. Fuck yeah. Oh. Oh my. We can end our feud and get capable family for 25 years. Or we can keep our rivalry going with his family. They did try and kill probably our son and our wife and they tried to kill us multiple times. They failed. I'll do a poll. Do we keep our rivalry with the, with the French royal family ongoing or do we end it here? I mean, we did kill the king. All right, I'll do a quick one minute flash pull for that. Kill them all. <laughs> True heirs of Rome. Did you know that Putin renamed uh, Volgograd to Stalingrad for one day? No, I didn't. That's why did he do that? Like publicity, I assume for the war. Who's the new king? King Guy of France. He's five years old. Now, that is a very weak France, isn't it? Doesn't our son have claims from our wife? Nope, he doesn't. No, our wife doesn't have any claims, unfortunately. She is from their family, but we don't have any direct claims on the French. Anniversary of Stalingrad battle. Yeah, okay, that's what we figured. What's the poll looking like? Let it go? Oh. All right. Very well. We'll end our rivalry with the French. We have killed our king. We'll let things go then. Justice is served. Well, I uh, won't pet a cat. We aren't actually, we're like not stressed at all right now. There's a very weak king of France right now. We could marry our daughter to the king. No one knows we killed his father and we stopped feuding with him. He would accept it.
No, I want to do something else later down the line. We're not going to marry into that family. Alrighty, we have a lot of money built up now. We've got 918 gold. I'm going to go ahead and uh, upgrade some of our holdings. We are going to prepare for another war with Barcelona. Obviously, they are underneath King Guilherme of Leon, who has united much of northern Iberia at this point. They're still very strong, so we'll need our French allies to fight uh, Duchess Gunilda. God damn, she is also dripped the fuck out. Jesus Christ. Her husband's dead, too. How many soldiers can we raise? 1,400. We can challenge her for an artifact. Our marshal's about the same. You know what? We're going to plot a war against her. But before we do that, we're going to challenge her for the Sardinian armor she stole from our family when she sieged at Logodoro. We're about of equal skill in the battlefield, so... And she'll accept this. Hold on, I need to find a dual, dual song here. Bear with me. You know what? No, I'm just gonna I'm gonna play the the main song that I've been using for the for the game. We'll go for this one. You better say yes. For a few brief moments, Duchess Quinhilda and I pace in lazy half circles, each watching for an opening. I brandish my farmer's billhook, the one we made ourselves, ready to defend myself while she clutches her Barcelona battle axe firmly in hand. This fight may only be tell first blood, but that doesn't ease my nerves. Well, with a sudden twitch, our bout begins. Out of nowhere, Gunhilda hurls a heavy purse at my face, which con connects with a crunch. She hit us with a purse? What the fuck? By the time I've recovered, she's pressing her advantage against me. Hmm. I blow from my dagger and a kick to the gut. We're gonna fucking kick her. With well, a powerful cleave of my dagger, I send Gunhilda reeling backwards, then step into the blow and kick her straight in the chest. With surprising speed, Gunhilda unleashes a powerful cleave of her axe, nearly knocking my dagger loose. My form is decent with some lapses, and Gunhilda's stance is formidable. I have my opponent on the back foot, but still need to consolidate my victory. <laughs> it's the wrath of St. George! Dagger in hand, it rain quick slashes down on Grunhilde, leaving her no quarter between blows. Grunhilde's retort is carefully calculated, waiting for precisely the right moment to reply with several quick slashes of her axe. My forward is decent, but with some lapses, Grunhilde's stance is formidable. My opponent is reeling victory so close I can practically taste it. Take, we're gonna go for faint and stab. I swing my dagger, and in an almost lazy feint, my opponent doesn't see my offhanded dagger until it's too late. When it's already sailing Palmer first into our face, the blow impacts Gunhilda hard, slamming so deep I swear I could feel the bone bruise, and she staggers backwards in a daze. When the axe drops from her hand, my opponent stammers out a yield, without me needing to do anything. I am victorious. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah! We beat the shit out of her. We're gonna get our armor back. She is severely injured. Ooh. Fuck yeah. We got our family's armor back against our rivals in Barcelona. She was a 60-year-old woman we just beat the shit out of. I will clarify that. But she's a powerful warrior, you know, and a giant. This woman was, like, probably seven feet tall we just fought. Again, she was 60, so kind of balances out, I'd say. Wonderful. A little bit of our honor restored. A little bit of our revenge taken, but not nearly enough. We'll repair our armor, and we're gonna wear it. It's good to have it back. Someone is plotting to kill us once again. We'll put our spy on to go ahead and disrupting schemes so we don't get murdered, hopefully. And we'll put our wife onto court intrigue. You just slew Goliath, yeah. Giant, the giant Barcelonan woman, who's actually a relative, by the way. That's our grandfather's uh, sister's great-granddaughter. So, like, our cousin ten times removed or something. I don't know. It's a lot of removed. We're being raided. 
Lissandra, the cat has to go. My wife, Queen Etienne, is holding flame up by the skin of her neck. Listen, this is a you problem. <laughs> you're, you're not getting away with removing the one thing we care about. I feel like getting rid of this, like, tyrannical, probably fairly evil king's, like, one thing he loves is a bad idea, but... Yeah, we're, we're not... We're not gonna do that. The day our cat dies is the day King Lissandro does some bad, bad shit, so... No, we're not going to. We're being raided by the Muslims. Ugh. Cornithini Nasia the second of the Arkina High Chiefdom. Where the hell are you from? Jesus, we're being... We're being raided from uh, Muslims from the Azores. No. No, 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 no. Call the banners! All the banners, that is not happening. We're gonna raise our entire fucking army. I don't care the cost, but we're gonna slaughter them. Heathens from islands far in the west. Savages, nothing more. We'll slaughter them. One cat has died already. That's true, we did lose one cat. All right, here we go. We'll slaughter them. Not a fucking chance. As the battle rages on, I find myself in the midst of a small pocket of close quarters combat. With the help of my men, we smashed the opposition with ease. But the focus of the attention was on me, who managed to put on a particularly impressive display whilst fighting the unrelenting enemies. As I take a second to catch my breath from the attack, I notice some of my soldiers watching on with admiration for my impressive fighting display. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Fight. <laughs> nice. As the battle rages on, I realize that there are multiple weak points on our front line which are particularly vulnerable to an enemy spearhead attack. Screaming at my men to cover the softened area, my voice breaks and I realize they will not be able to hear me. Quick, you need to come with me. I command them and usher them in the direction of the weak spot. As we arrive, the enemy has already begun charging into the vulnerable gap in the line, so I rally the men to brace for a coming charge. Whilst we hold, I hear an enemy general shouting a muffled command, followed by the groans of numerous enemy footmen. What was that sound? I think before a rain of spears and javelin begins to descend upon the shoulders of the enemy push. As projectiles slam into the men around me, one smacks past my head. Very excruciating close. It was really close. We had a near-death experience. Stress gained 25%. Woo! Yeah, we, we almost got, like, javelin to the head. That will probably do it. Swinging to and fro with my blade, I find myself increasingly confident in my skills as a warrior amidst the battle I'm fighting in. Is this what being unstoppable feels like? Suddenly I'm brought back to earth as I nearly dodge a blow from an enemy swordsman. The strike that he sent to me was originally destined for the side of my head. I got wounded. After retreating from immediate combat to assess my situation, I notice the damage my body has received. Whilst it is not absolutely lethal, it is certainly something to be concerned about. Our cousin wants to operate on us. We're paranoid as shit. So we're not going to let him. I survey the battlefield, contemplating how this battle will be remembered and gaze towards the dead that remain. I notice a group of my soldiers approach and they politely bow before me. My lord! We cornered the enemies and they gave a valiant stand. They gave their lives protecting this banner. The Canarian War Banner. I get an extra knight. Whoa. Add it to our collection. We just got a War Banner from islands far in the west that we don't even know where they're at. I mean, we know they're out there, we just don't know where they're at. Probably. A good victory. A good victory indeed. Why can't we just ban our army? There we go. Let's go ahead and put that banner up. Our trophy. Canarian war banner. Ooh, that's cool looking. You know what would make it look even better? No, we can't put it up there. God damn it. Cool. We have an enemy masterwork banner. Gives us an extra knight, levy reinforcement, and court grandeur. That's a really solid artifact we took in that battle. Time to make the uh, use of that Moroccan holding. We will have to get a revenge on them, but I'm an RP that like basically we we like don't know those islands well enough to get to them quite yet. I mean, with those ports, we might, but. All right, we're gonna actually have to get a Cassis Belly in Barcelona again. We lost ours. We need to take that city. 
Oh no. Is this another son who's gonna have an obsession with wearing fucking helmets? With his coming of age, my tuition of Balthazar has come to an end. With significant tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards administration, such as Balthazar, can come to truly understand it. Displaying a thorough understanding of the flow of gold and the wanderings of people, he even expressed a remarkable creativity in dealing with these matters. He became a fortune builder, hawk-eyed, and he's quick. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's find him a wife. He's 16. Time for him to get married. Duchess of Asturias. Now she has kids and she's old. Let's look at some of the major families of Europe and see if we can find them a good son. We could further marry into the French family if they've got a free... She's already got kids. Um... The Princess of Brittany would be a very good choice, but she's betrothed. Why is everyone wearing fucking spy glasses in this game, I swear? Does everyone just have bad vision? So many are wearing them. Hmm. We could try and marry the fucking... I'm just gonna see if we could do it. Just theoretically. No. We could almost get a match little marriage. Not quite. Hmm. Thringia, perhaps? No. Brittany really is perfect. Maybe... Maybe, uh... He could befall a little accident. Take three years. Ah, that's, that's too long. Hmm. Bohemia, maybe? No. Well, a lot of good options for our son, is there? Maybe a Hungarian princess? She doesn't seem too bad. Princess Ilona of Hungary. She is temperate, cynical, pensive. She's the daughter of a, a very great Catholic king of Hungary. And uh, we hear rumors that she's got a very sound mind. It would be five years until she comes of age and can marry our son, but... It would give us allies in the east, which wouldn't be a bad thing. The Hungarians are strong. The tactics that they use would be useful to us, too. So we'll go for that. We'll try and betroth her to our son. Let's see if we can do it. Yep, we can do it. All right, cool. We're going to betroth our son and heir, uh, Balthazar, to Princess Ilona of Hungary. We'll go ahead and hold court as well. What's up, Krieger? Good morning to you, too. Time to make use of the... Are you right that one? A frightful peasant strolls all too close before a guard steps between us. Your lordness. Herbless put up a fence along the mason's white father's field. Now it's falling to bits. Of course, the grandson wants nothing to do with it. We would not listen to commoners, apparently. Um, highfalutin. <laughs> How does this man get in? That's it, all right. Piss off the common people. My lord, this is outrageous. An agitated Jedi Sagut stands before my throne. The body of my poor half-brother, the recently deceased Jedi Agdun, has been violated by the fiend you keep at your court physician, Kundilis. That vile monster is tampered with a course, using it to practice his obscure knowledge and leaving it disfigured and defaced. We're a good Christian. He's really competent. So we're gonna we're gonna arrest our physician, unfortunately. A thin raggedy peasant stands before me, gawking at the opulence. My village in Ibiza was hit by a blight this year. We lost not only our crops, but our seed. We have nothing and we shall uh, starve without help. We're not cruel and we have a lot of money, so we'll go ahead and help them out. We do have the money for it. Speaking of all that money, let's go ahead and upgrade our holdings. We'll upgrade the Chateau, our leisure palaces in Granada. It's where our royal family vacations once in a while. Very rarely. He's a workaholic, let's be honest. Um, we'll upgrade the barracks in Mora Norca. And we'll upgrade the barracks, the military camps, and Ibiza as well. Aubrey's dead. We can mark him off the list. Let's go ahead and pin his son, though. Someone is plotting to kill me. No. Our sister-in-law, our scene of France, is plotting to kill us. 
She's the one who tried to give us a carpet a while back, if you remember. Kind of a little too obvious. Well, we do have some free time. We need a hobby. And you know what hobby I think King Lissandra is going to pick up in his elder years? Murder. So we're going to try and murder her back. Let's see if we can do it first. As soon as we get that Cassus Belly, we're going to start a War of Leon as well. Good, we have a betrothal to Hungary. We'll need a new court physician as well to replace the uh, the one doing non-religious things to corpses. We're gonna go get shit-faced and pet our cat. Good, good night in. Alrighty, um, we got a incompetent eunuch, an incompetent woman, and a very mediocre. Uh, God, yeah, uh, mm. Constanti is well respected. We'll hire him. I'm gonna take a look and see how good he is, though. Why the fuck is he wearing a full male? Aptitude poor. Oof. Yeah, we're gonna need to get a new physician when we can. Sometimes I feel like the entire world rests upon my shoulders. My responsibilities as king of Sardinia are endless. We'll go drinking some more. No, I need to rebalance my humors. Sure. Are we being raided again? No, no, it's almost done. What PC do I have? Um, I got a 2070 Super. I got a Ryzen 9. 64 gigabytes of RAM. Um... A Republic motherboard. I forget what, what it is explicitly. The main two are a Ryzen 9 and a 2070 Super. I love and hate coding so much. What's up, Bitter? You're pretty deep on that, aren't you, at this point, man? How's that been going for you? Morning, Escova. Many treatises have been written in honorable conduct of war, but those authors' lives weren't on the line when they put pen to paper. Oh, whoa, we cut our hair. He is really rebalancing his humors. Whew. Kind of looks like our great-grandfather in it. To ensure victory, I need to seize every advantage I can get on the battlefield, even if that means using tactics which may be considered unfair. Practice manipulative tactics. Yeah, we we do that. I gather my retinue together for some war games, eager to try my idea of faking a route to lure my enemies into uh, overextending. Unfortunately, when my team attempted to try my new tactic, we were unable to hold our ground and suffered a quick, humiliating defeat. Oh no! King Lissandro the Foolish! Oh, no. We're a great commander, too. That's some bullshit. Damn. The foolish. Kabinu is a witch, apparently. Hmm. Damn. That's rough. What do you think the king would be athletic? Yeah, I'd say so. He'd be pretty fucking athletic. Be going all right for unity. I've moved on to learning about things like pictures and shaders. I have no idea what's going on. Currently, I'm working on very basic interpreter on my programming language classes. Nice, man. Glad that's been going well for you, bitter. What's up, right, bubs? Um, what did you miss? We killed the king of France finally and ended our rivalry with the French royal family. We married our daughter to the king of France. We married our heir and son to the princess of Hungary, and we're preparing for a war of revenge against Leon. Oh, and we dueled the Duchess of Barcelona, who's a giant, and we got our artifact back she stole in a previous war. We beat the shit out of her. So we severely injured her. Did she die, actually? Let's look. No. No, she recovered. As I make my preparations necessary for our senior's departure from the world, I am interpreted by a page. The Bampot went and died without any help from me. Oh, she died. God damn it. We were going to murder her. Satan must be eager for her company. Oh, fuck. Well, you know, we could do a little bit more murder. You know. No, our rivalry is done. We need to find new hobbies. God damn, boy. He aged rough, didn't he? He aged fucking rough. Yeah, we've got time for maybe one or two more major wars, so we have to win this war with the owner. We will we will die with having failed everything we've wanted to, so.
Murder the giant, uh, murder the giant. We could try and murder her. We're not above that. We're preparing a war against her, but... We still have that battle axe. When can we duel her again? Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. In a couple months, we can duel her again. Maybe we can murder her in single combat. Our daughter is no longer sick. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and hire some more knights, too. We're going to need them for the wars ahead. I think it said she was murdered by a number of members of the Taurus family. Did it really? That'd be our sister-in-law. Constantina de Taurus. Who is that? Our spy master murdered her. No, Jedi Gabinu spy master. Damn. I think, uh, I think she deserves a reward. Can we send her money? When we have money, we're going to send her money. We, we would, if we know about it, we'd want to reward her for such a, uh, such a good act. Receiving. Is Gabino a giant? Gabino is a giant. We do have giantism in the Taurus family. I forgot about that because we married the, that princess of Lombardy. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and send her a gift for her for her act. She's also a distant relative of ours, too. I mean, to be fair, our whole family was feuding with them, so it makes sense. In another stressful day, I slumped down in my chair in my chamber. How long will I be able to keep this up? Suddenly I hear a quiet meow and my cat Flame jumps up on my lap and starts purring. I sit with him a while, just listening to the calming sound and petting his orange fur. I think I can do this for a bit longer. Yeah. Cats do help with de-stressing. That is, that is very true. Alright, how long until we get our cast's belly? Six months. We should be able to... Should be able to duel that bitch again, too. Alright, she's 62 now. But we're not we're not a spring child ourselves. We're 46. Why can't we challenge her? We have to wait until 94? Oh, god damn it. Alright, we're going with a backup plan. We're going to try to murder her. No, we're, we're, we're not above murder, believe me. What's up, Dryas Sin? How's it going? He reminds me of the king from The Witcher. Yeah, yeah, that's accurate. Yeah, I'd say so. Fuck. One peaceful evening. After my courtiers have hurried away from the throne of my set to ponder for a spell. All the great rulers have great names, so why not I? From now on, for all ages to follow, I shall be known as King Lysandro. The Conqueror! That's a good name. There we go. King Lysandra the Conqueror. We have to back that up. We have conquered a fair bit, but we need to do some more conquering to actually have that title. We're going to take Barcelona, then we'll fight another holy war, and then we'll be worthy of the title. We'll go Curadori Tifelwit as our Chancellor. And we have a claim on Barcelona. Alright, do we have all the allies we can get? Betrothed uh, our daughter, the princess, to someone else as well. We're not going to go with the French. We'll go with the uh, the king of Lotharingia. We'll have three allies we can call into this war. This is going to be a big one. All right, hold on. I need I need to play some good music here. Bear with me. Let's set up. Alrighty. It is time. We lost. We won the first war with Barcelona when we were only 11 years old. We fought off the Barcelonans with the help of the French and managed to defeat them. But in the process, we lost our sovereignty. Now, years later, we are much stronger. We have cultivated an army, the likes of which many great powers in the known world would struggle to deal with. We have cultivated allies in Hungary and England and to a lesser degree recently with the Lotharingians, but we'll see if they actually help us. It is now time 
for us to exact our revenge. So we will demand the city of Barcelona. And we'll have to fight the King of Leon for it. If we win this war, we will go down as a conqueror, a strong ruler, a tyrant, but a powerful leader of the Taurus family. But if we lose it, we will likely live with shame for the rest of our life and go down in the history books as nothing but a failed, ambitious man. We will go ahead and begin the war. This isn't war music. God damn it. I want war music. Bear with me. There we go. That's war music. Alrighty. We'll wait for all of our banners to come. We're going to lead our men, of course. We're a very good strategist, a very capable commander. We are all we are pretty old now, but that's fine. 14,000 men under our command. My wife spends a significant amount of time traveling the realm of her honor guard. There's some matters she can settle on my behalf, and the military presence of Queen Etunet brings her a firm reminder of my right to rule. We get more dread. Wonderful. All right, let's land in Barcelona and take the city. Barbary pirates? Perhaps. North Africa's not high on our list. We'll map the area around Barcelona when we're sieging it out. We can kill Queen Patrona of Al Andalus. King Idris is Chancellor. They're Christians. The king wants to murder her, his wife? Sorry, what the hell? These are our family members. Just a reminder, this is a this is a cadet branch of our family in El Andalus. Our distant cousin, who's a fucking disfigured lunatic, wants us to help kill his wife. We're not above it. Sure, we'll help. Family's family. Queen Patrona was killed by us. You might be a king, but you're an evil pop doodle. Pop, fop, fop doodle? The unprovoked anger expressed by my knight, Galen, comes as a complete surprise. He has been under a lot of stress lately, but to behave like this. That even he struggles, it's calming. He's a fucking lunatic. Oh boy. Our, our army in court is something else. We have an inspiration for armor. We'll go ahead and commission it. All right, we're preparing to make landfall in Barcelona. Oh. Ooh, I don't know about that. We'll land in Girona instead. Also, we need to call our allies. I forgot to do that. We'll call our family in Savoy. We have family in Holstein, apparently. We'll call our family in Al Andalus. We'll call our allies in England. Our allies in Hungary. And our allies in Lotharingia. All for Barcelona, but this is... An absolutely pivotal conflict for our family, so we'll call in the whole gang. But before that, we're gonna crush them ourselves. No, 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 we recently disembarked. Let's wait a minute. How long do we need to get rid of that? Where does it show the disembarkment modifier? That's a big fucking fortress. I guess we can just siege it out and get a beach hold and then we'll fight their army. It's so mostly the beard, true. And silt is red. So the armor you're really uh, wearing a mod. I think I don't think I've ever seen it before. Yeah, we've got I've got like 50 armors, uh, 50 mods on. We're dying. What the fuck do you mean we're dying? We can't die without getting our fucking revenge. This is unacceptable. Come on, take the castle, then we go. God, if he dies before this, that would be tragic. But our family is tragic, so fits. Come on, take the fort. All our allies have arrived. 
god, we're so close to dying. Jesus Christ, man. Come on, finish the siege. Five days. All right, here we go. To victory. We have met their men. And we're going to destroy their army at the gates of Barcelona. We slaughtered their men. Oh. Revenge is sweet. And our wife became pregnant while we were on campaign. Wonderful. That woman is definitely having an affair. We'll get Archon Karuli to take on our daughter. We don't have time for that. He's called in an Emir to fight with him. He fights with heathens. My armor equips me... Uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Krut al -mish. Updates me on the progress. Droning on about the limits of hammer and bellows as my mind reels with bold ideals for my mail. We're gonna go ahead and give him some advice, which helped it. Good. My agents have acquired a discreet powder which leaves no trace when dissolved in a drink. The servants responsible for refilling and handling Duchess Gunilda's cup have been bribed to look the ever way, and all that remains is my approval. Let's go ahead and try and kill her while we're sieging out her capital. She survived. And the servants showed no hesitation in pointing me out. Fuck. We failed, and she knows that we're trying to kill her now. Ah, well. We'll take her our prisoner when we siege out the city soon enough. Whoa, holy shit. We, our armor got finished in. Oh my gosh, it is good. Torshitaru mail. Prowess 9, extra knight, and 10 prestige a month. Holy shit, that is some good armor. Can we hire this man? He's a fucking heathen? What? No, you better convert. I will not wear mail made by a fucking heathen. There we go. Reborn in the light of Christ. Beautiful. Can we make him our... It's Aquarian. We can? He's converted. We'll do it. Alrighty. We need to siege out the capital, but... Ugh. Um... We'll split our forces and just siege out their holdings until we win. We are still dying, but we're not dead yet. <laughs> we had a son while we were away on campaign. Prince Pizinte. No, we're not gonna name him that. Let's give him a good oh it's give him a good Catholic name. We'll name him Luke. And we'll give him We'll give him a diplo education. Here comes their army. That's a that's a big army coming. We're going to have another massive battle here if they make it. Famous Arvark gets an autograph uh, before it gets an ego. Can't see the modifier, I think, if you mouse over the green banner. That might have been where it was. It's not there anymore. We're out of supplies, fuck. Finish the siege and we'll have to resupply back in Barcelona from our supply routes. You might be king, but you are also an obnoxious knave. The unprovoked anger expressed by my wife, Queen Etienne, comes as a complete surprise. I mean, she is clearly screwing someone else. She's been under a lot of stress lately. She's irritable. Oh, boy. She did this have her fifth kid, to be fair, so... Might be part of it. Oh, we can get even more knights.
Let's also wear our new armor. We'll wear the crown that's not broken. Or we'll use the Davidi sword. Alrighty, let's do this. Alright, there's gonna be a battle. Here we go. Oh, that was close. We're gonna win it. That didn't go our way for a second there. The King of England is not the best commander. We won the war. Wonderful. He's no longer dying either. Wow. We were close to death throughout that whole campaign. Not only did we survive, but we won the war. And we took Barcelona, the capital of our great rivals, as our own. Damn. Hell yeah. The prize is ours. Well, damn. He is actually going to end successful. Alrighty, let's see what else we got. We got an artifact last time. What did we pick up on the campaign? The hide of the terrifying fox of Sabta. We already have a really good hide, so we're just going to keep the one we have now. Alrighty. Or Barcelona taken, I think it's time for another War of the Heathens. We'll do one more great conquest. I mean, he's ambitious. He's won a lot of power. Someone's caught plotting to kill our son. I prefer to take Sicily, but we can't fight the Pope. We're a good Christian. My kinsman, King Idris, has asked me if I'd like to get together for a small bout of carousing and merrymaking. That man is a lunatic. He apparently himself is a reveler of some notoriety. This is the type of dude to invite you to a satanic orgy unironically. Like... Yeah, that's that's the type of dude to invite you to some, some bad shit. So it'll be perfect for our king, because he is also pretty out there. We'll go ahead and see. We'll go. Ransom the Count? Sure. We'll ask the Pope for gold? No, he won't accept. We'll send our Marshal to get order in Barcelona. The famous evil hero king. Yeah, he's not a good man, that's for sure. He'll be remembered as the king who will conquer Barcelona, but not his wife's heart. Much like most of our family. Haven't we only had like one king who actually had a loving relationship with his wife? I think there was only one. Maybe two. It was engagement to Lona, Balthazar's asked if I could host a wedding at our court. Yeah, we'll host our son's wedding. We can afford it. Perfect. So this two family is beginning to mingle. Someone raises a toast to the couple's health and the cheer rises from the room, no doubt. We're the first of many tonight. But like the Hungarian royal family's here. Beautiful. Our wife wants to help out one of our courtiers. We'll get her to help our marshal because he fucking needs it. Such a joy to see my wife, Queen Etsy Nit. Once again, we eat, drink, and sing together as no time has passed since we parted last. We could have been dining at a barn and this was still been one of the greatest weddings I've ever been to. Nice. We've reinvigorated our friendship with our wife. Beautiful. God damn it. As Balthazar's eyes widened at my words, I realized that I have just admitted to. I struggled to push my tanker away. I have said too much! We told our son we murdered someone, apparently. Man, he cannot keep his fucking mouth shut when he's drunk, can he? Every time. You will need to convert. Just realize we might have heathen, heathen knights, and that's not going to happen. They're going to convert if they wish to stay in our court. Far too many fucking heathens. I didn't notice this. This is an issue. We're going to do a, a mass baptism for all of them. Oh, cool. Our son is going to be friends with his wife. Much like the long-standing tradition of House Taurus. Alcoholism, uh, debilitating mental issues, and uh, 
becoming friends with your wife. Those are the three key uh, things that always happen with every single one of our kings. Every single one. Good, he converted. Our Pope really doesn't want to give us gold. There we go. We'll ask him for some. And we will reinvest that back into our holdings. We'll upgrade the outposts of Granada. We'll upgrade the trading port in Almeria. Can't upgrade anything in Sasari. Maybe... No, nothing. Uh, in Menorca, we'll upgrade our walls. In Ibiza, we'll upgrade our ports. And in Barcelona, we will convert the military academies at some point. Not quite yet, though. But was it really worth conquering? <laughs> was, was it worth conquering? They were our great rivals. They took 1,600 gold from our family and humiliated us in the past. They started a war with us when we were fighting against the jihad that the Muslims declared on good Christians. Of course it was worth it. How could you suggest such a thing? A stranger is brought before me. He has been waiting outside the castle gates for a week, my leash. My name is Vahan. I have traveled far and wide and seen many things. You're a heathen. I'm going to stop you right there. Get the fuck out. We're not going to listen to a heathen. He's just lucky we're not going to execute him. Getting too drunk and puking on people. That's also a strong tradition of our family. Absolutely. The wife's heart. The filthy cheater. Oh, well, no. No. She's a deceitful, paranoid, forgiving, just irritable woman who is absolutely screwing someone else. To the impressive King of Sandra Sardinia, you and I should be friends, not foes. <laughs> These fucking heathens. Cowards. Trying to pay us off. No, 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 no. Where are you from? No, I think, I think a much more fitting option. A much more fitting option would be a holy war. We got a letter from a Muslim, a heathen, who, who dared to suggest that we would take gold and not destroy the heathens wherever they could be found. No, that insult is too great. Far too great. Far too great indeed. We're not having it. Call the fucking banners. Goddamn heathens. They don't fear us enough. They're asking, asking to bribe us, to stop us from murdering them. No, 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 death is far too good. That being said, if he converts, when we siege out his capital and slaughter his men, we will consider not murdering him for his insult. Traveler from a faraway land has visited me today and it appears my reputation precedes me. Because after exchanging presents for you to travel, he said jokingly, I heard about you and your honeyed words. We're known for many things. Speaking is not one of them. Murder. Um, rivalries, warfare, militarism, changing a trading city into a militarized city, capital fortress. Those things we're known for. Good words, not so much. It's not really where we excel. We're really good at impaling too. We have a we have a natural talent for it. We'll go for Mercia. We'll have to go into gold for this war. But the destruction of a heathen is most certainly worth it. We got a niece. Nice. Too many heathens, not enough time. True. True, true. My only regret is I do not have more bill hooks by which to decapitate the heathen. Direct quote King Lissandro, 1296. I'm regret that it's coming to this. I know that you are King Aubrey's real killer. If you wish for my silence, you'll do as they say. <laughs> Fuck you. Abdul. Our vassal in North Africa. Getting a little too comfortable. Well, his position, it seems. Far too comfortable. I'll remind you that we gave him his lands, his title, and his position, and he blackmails us? We don't give a shit if people know we killed a king. Everyone knows that we've done much worse things. Nah. <laughs> no. We're gonna decline. 
We're now known as a murderer. Well, since we're already known as a murderer, there's no harm in just another, and I think Archon Abdul is more than deserving for his actions. We'll get we'll get to work on that. I never expected I would grow close uh, as close to King Idris as I have done in the past few years. We're both tyrants and like on the border of insanity, so it checks out. On multiple occasions, he has proved himself to be a reliable and forthright man, but only my best interests at heart. We are family. Holy shit, we're gonna befriend the fucking lunatic, disfigured king of Al Andalus, our distant cousin. It's about right. It's best that I wash my back and prepare my defenses. There are many out there who will thirst for vengeance. I guess the rivalry with the, the French royal family is probably gonna continue. We won the war! What do we even take in the war? Hold on. Now I'm confused. What the fuck did we take? I think we took part of North Africa. No, Abdul took part of North Africa. What the fuck did we take in that war? I thought we were going from uh, all this whole area. Oh, a conversion war. You're right, they're Catholics now. Well, that's fine. When the time comes, my agents will need a safe escape route out of Archon Abdul's castle. We'll pay a hunter to do it. Yeah, he's gonna need murdered for his actions. Disloyalty. Disloyalty is one thing we cannot abide. We don't have enough knights again. Look at that money we're making now, too. My god. Our daughter, we will train ourselves. Alrighty. Another successful religious war. I have studied Sardinian vulgar language for many moons. I'm gonna stop you right there, you goddamn heathen. <laughs> Heathens can't speak our beautiful Sardinian language. Get the fuck out. We'll hold court. Archon Karula made vassal strides forward, clearly eager to hear my response to his petition. My leash, Corsican trade, is stifled by a lack of currency. Let the Toshutaru Ayakio establish our own mints and royal approval for the good of Sardinia Corsica. We can trade it for the Judicatu of Tortoli. Yeah, we'll let them mint their own coins if we get the Judicatu of Tortoli. If we get territory, we'll do it. He didn't want to do that. Hmm, that's a shame. My knight, Olsmish, approaches me with a spring to stay. My leash, I have a great idea that could bring you either money or fame. You have amassed quite the collection of artifacts, my ward. So why not put them on display? You could charge for viewing your collection or for free to more people to view it. Artifact Exhibition. We might lose some, though. We'll, 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 we'll do it. We'll show off our wealth. My knight Lammy stands before me. My lord! I couldn't help but notice in recent times the realm's finances have not been the healthiest. Killing heathens is always a good expense. We can always find money for that. Of course, you have been administering them egregiously, but perhaps you may find some of use for some extra gold. I'm going to buy a minor settlement off your hands. No, I'm, no, it's fine. It's fine. How are we doing on murdering our, our good, our good Archon, Abdul? 67% chance of success. That's really high. Who's this heir gonna be? Abdul Gaffur Ibn Abdul Bakrid. Seems that not every servant of Archon Abdul's court is blindly loyal. Abu Bakr assures me that he has a way in and that a few coins in the right pockets will go a long way. Might as well. And we were exposed. Fuck. He's terrified. Can we demand a trial by combat?
This is an act of tyranny. Are we not already a tyrant? A delegation from Barcelona slowly files out of my private chambers. Our long meeting finally over. Where the petitioners beg for money to repair the crumbling walls of the holding that we broke down, just a reminder, and have invoked my lordly duty to help them. I drop my fingers on the table, pondering whether to send them funds. We need to fortify Barcelona, because they'll come for it one day. So, we'll go ahead and do it. God, we've been going into a lot of debt for this, but needs to be done. Fuck. Well... We're gonna murder his firstborn son instead. A few bear attacks recently occurred on the edge of town in Granada, killing several people each time, including a couple of very minor officials. Though common such tragedies are not unheard of. The bear managed to get away each time before the town guards could do anything about it. We'll send guards to try and hunt it down with more money that we can't afford. All right, we need to take a minute and make some money back here. We are very in debt. In Navarra got some land? They have a little bit. He's surprisingly strong. A lament for the king. What man does not hope to rest when tired, no matter his wealth and treasure acquired. A hope only for memory's grace, so that the whole world remembers their face. It's okay. I don't know why they don't like just get real life poems that aren't like mediocre. We'll teach our daughter to fight. We'll, we'll raise taxes on Jedi Roder uh, Roderick as well. She improves. Wonderful. Our son really is not going to take off his helmet, is he? We'll make him our marshal as well. He needs some experience. Abdul does not deserve to be marshal anymore. Where's our son? Prince Balthazar. We'll get him some training, bringing control to his holdings. We'll need that one day. My antiquarian Kutal Mish approaches me, holding the Torshitaru crown in his hands. Malish, while I was cleaning the storm, I noticed that this crown is too old and is practically falling apart. What should we do with it? I looked the crown over, but no amount of mending could ever make it wearable again. It would be impossible to clean it up and preserve it on display for a marginal cost. Nah, we'll, we'll let the crown go. That's the old one. Poverty does make uh, repairing artifacts difficult. Promising prospects. something real quick okay, cool a bandit cartel has been terrorizing Almeria for a while now and my forces stationed there have had trouble countering them effectively recently one of the guard captains there was even assassinated by a spy working for these criminals it was meant to be a major blow to my troops given this captain's charisma diligence good relations with the local community and this has the opposite effect than what the bandits intended the assassinated commander, believe, uh, beloved by many, has become a martyr. Thus, my troops and other local commoners spurred on by bloodlust to avenge their captain redoubled their efforts to crush the bandit gain. Scores of bandits have been killed in the past few weeks, including many of their leaders. That's unfortunate, but we'll build a monument for him. No, we're callous. Yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll let go then. When the time comes, my agents will need a safe escape route. Send someone to do it. Murdering people is really expensive. Okay, oh, completely falling to rebellions. Yes, it is. Yep, it is completely collapsing under the Katun uh, to Yana, the 22 year old empress of the Ilkanate, with 2,767 loyal soldiers at her back. Ooh, wow. And there it goes. The Ilkanate. The heirs of the Mongols have completely splintered. Wow, look at that. Look at that. It completely splintered. Persia came back. 
It's a conate. Uh oh. Oh, good. Cool. Purge is a strong one. They're Tengri, too. Helos is really strong. Thrace is really strong, too. This is a perfect time to try and get a Crane on Crease and get a, create a, get a really good trading hub over there. I'm going to prepare an invasion of Crete right now. We're going to take advantage of the chaos there if we can. What happened in the roleplay? Uh, in what capacity? With, with what exactly, uh, Toto? Yeah, we'll take advantage of this to be able to go after the uh, the the city there. We need a we need a trading hub in the area. There's a curse of children. My daughter Olympia and her compatriot Emaeus have caught red-handed, having stuck to the armory. Don't they know that weapons are dangerous? Olympias was apprehended by a surgeon when she had knocked over a suit of armor while looking for a bandage for Emaeus, who hurt himself. She's impatient. That's fine. Our son is impatient and our daughter is impatient. Nice. We are going to go ahead and develop the capital. Mo getting shit faced. Oh no. He had a mental break while doing it. Lately, I feel as if I am constantly distracted by lascivious thoughts and erotic fantasies. Probably because he's not screwing his wife because she's sleeping with someone else. Yet another House Taurus family tradition. Uh, with all the hardships in my everyday life, it is all too easy to lose myself to daydreams and forget about reality. These desires are clearly interfering with my life. A new view of God. We can convert to pol polsiantism. Polsiantism? Oh, boy. We can become athletic. Yeah, let's go. Let's go work it out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go lift the weights. We're going to go running. We're going to get fit. After we get drunk, of course. Got to do that first. He actually found a healthy coping mechanism. This is the first member of our family and I think like three generations who developed a healthy coping mechanism. That's a real achievement for our family right there. Like, my God. That's, that's big. He didn't turn to fucking beating himself, cheating, whoring, or murder. So that's, it's a big moment. Our crazy fucking friend. Things have been a bit tighter on the castles of late. No matter how much I collect taxes, I just haven't been able to make ends meet. King Idris, ever a dutiful friend, has come to visit me during the bout of bad luck, and as we discuss my current troubles, he offers to replenish my coffers with a hearty stimulus. Let me help you, my friend. I know you would do the same for me. Oh, it's fine. We're gonna get shit-faced instead. He got a favor. Oh, no. Fuck. Oh, no. We just had a crash. That's not good. All right, I'm gonna relaunch. We crashed. Uh oh, hopefully it's not something that is unfixable for this. Huh. What's the religious map mode in the Middle East looking like? I will show you as soon as we get back in. Yeah, the fat mids are the most stable, ironically. Out of all of House Taurus uh, alcoholics, Lysander is the alcoholic. Yeah, he takes the he takes the cake. I'd say. That, that boy likes to drink. My god, that boy likes to drink. Friends play through flashbacks? How so, man? Also an alcoholic? Lysandra got so shit-faced that the game threw, uh, that the game threw up? Yeah, apparently. The game just couldn't deal with his rampant alcoholism. Well, the game loads. I'm gonna grab some coffee, too. I'll be right back.
Okay, let's hope that this save fucking works. We have a couple auto saves, worst case scenario. I'm hoping it was just a bugged event or something weird like that. Okay. How far back are we? Little way, it's not too bad. Yeah, probably a year or two. That is fine. We also need to go on a pilgrimage. I don't think we have ever gone on a pilgrimage as King Lissandro, have we? Oh god, it's the it's the inbred. Damn, Sheik Afla has been and is thieving lackeys. My steward stutters out the message that with bald faced Gaul, these thugs coerced the common folk of Lagodoro into surrendering wealth that was meant to be uh go to me. Jessica Dahl has uh my functionary is poised to collect our usual fees, but already I foresee the window widows wailing, children starving, and poor families being cast out of their homes. Who the fuck is this? The Sheik of Dania. We'll demand our full amount of taxes. Where the fuck is this Sheik from? We can't stand for that. If we get out of bed, uh, debt, we can actually fight a war. He's been taking taxes from our people. We'll need We'll need to get revenge for that. Gives us a chance to take more land in Iberia as well. Crusade makes me see so badly. Yeah, it's, it's fucking brutal, Lotus. They are so horrible. There are 50,000 men fighting uh, next to me uh, over help. Yep, they'll just sit there and watch you die. It's fucking so shit. Develop the capital more. Yeah, we did get athletic again, thankfully. All right, we did actually get our healthy coping mechanism. Let's hope the game doesn't crash again. We only have 140 years to EU4, by the way. I'd say we've got probably three, maybe four more sessions before we hit EU4. Abdul Gaffer was attending a local celebration in Logador, and I happen to know that he is a bit of a wine aficionado. I could lure him into the cellar of my castle for an exclusive tasting, then make sure he never walks out again. That'd be a little obvious, though, wouldn't it? Like, oh, no! This guy whose father I clearly hate, uh, he just died when I invited him to a private wine tasting with no witnesses. So weird. We're gonna do it anyway though, because we're callous and we don't give a shit. Abdul Ghaffar is dead, walled up and soon to be forgotten. He followed me willingly, drunk on merriment and wine into the cellar. After many glasses of fine wine, he fell readily asleep and the even stir as I brought out a towel and methodically bricked up the exit. Jesus. We buried this dude alive? Bro, I'm just saying, I would not want to be within a hundred miles of this fucking king. Jesus fuck, dude. Unfortunately, I was uh, seen leading him into the basement within weeks. The newly raised wall was torn down to reveal the horror behind. He was drunk and in need of lodging. Well, everyone knows that we did it. Bro, this, 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 this king, man. God damn. Our order of uh, Alcantara grow. We wish for more land. We wish to organize the defense of the Catholic faith. We'll give them the Kiridori of uh, Shishal. Whereas we're a very religious man. Bolts aside. Train our daughter again. And then we'll repair our book about books. And our daughter was wounded. Apparently we... Jesus Christ, we beat the shit out of our daughter while trying to train her. This dude, man. I just want my vassals to defend themselves against revolts. No reason why I need to solve uh, every peasant uprising. True. On the very final stage of uh, solving the Iberian struggle, I did it as the Mozarabic Andalusians. Nice. I broke free from Rome, installed my sister on the throne of Italy, consecrated and strengthened my perfect bloodline, and... Now I'm going to lose everything because of the fucking AI. Yeah, that's that's the Crusader King's grind set right there in a nutshell, man. You're you're living a true CK3 experience, you know. So you uh, you play the Darkest Hour. Playing is a strong word. Downloaded and and like tried, yes. We'll go running. We're gonna, we're gonna work off some of this stress. We're gonna get some of that alcohol out of our system too, hopefully by running. We're a drunk. 
Oh boy. It's sometimes hard to find the motivation to remain consistent when exercising by myself. True. I could try to find myself a partner who then would not only motivate me on bad days, but would also be someone that I can compare myself to when tracking my own progress. What kind of companion would suit me the most? Someone I can look up to? Someone to keep me on my toes or perhaps someone I know I should never aspire to be. We'll go for a Karula the second. We already like him, so that works. We got our we got our workout running, buddy. All right. We're getting shit faced at a feast as usual. Let's see if we can fight a war with the Taifa. We can force convert them. That's not enough. He's been stealing from our people. He's been levying taxes that are not his to take. We're gonna get a claim on his city, and we'll route him from his home. Commission an artifact too of all our money. What do we really need? What's what are we lacking artifact wise? We need a good we need a really good weapon. We have a masterwork one. That's not bad. Our crown is really mediocre. That's really what we need. Let's commission a crown. Pyro local artisan. You gotta follow COG 2008. Hope you're having a good uh end of your weekend. The feast is dwindling down, and I find myself deep in conversation with my Koi Chancellor, Jedek Jumat Jumahir. Oh. I'm doing my best here. He inquired about my opinion on court politics, a subject he is deeply interested in himself. Yeah, sure. Oh, he actually made a friend. I didn't know he was capable of it. Apparently he is. Oh, we actually made a friend, getting shit-faced at a feast. He'd be the type of dude probably to only be pleasant when drunk, let's be honest. As night fell, I found myself alone in my chambers. Suddenly, and I don't know how it started, I just began crying. Oh, dude. Oh, no. He's having a breakdown. I sobbed for what must have been hours, letting out all my pain and sadness. When it stopped, I felt a little better. This man clearly has a little bit of a conscience still left, you know? Like, deep down, underneath all the murder and horrible things, there's still a conscience down there somewhere. That's rough, man. That's rough. But you did kill all those people, so, you know, kind of... Kind of on you. Alright, let's go to Pilgrimage as well. We're clearly uh, beginning to reflect on the horrible things we've done in our life and what better way than to ask for salvation from god so we're gonna go on a pilgrimage and uh see about see about finding some redemption greetings king lissandra i studied the sardinian vulgar language for many moons i personally penned this missive using a sardinian vulgar script a letter of friendship from a speaker of the magyar the king of hungary has learned our language his daughter are, and our heir are married, so he learned our language. That's actually really cool. Damn. We're going to befriend him. That's cool. Hey, he's a flagellant. That's fucking rough. We're going to go to Jerusalem. Let's ask the Pope for gold. He's going to pay for our pilgrimage, I guess. And then some. Amongst my fellow pilgrims, there's a man who preaches compassion and fellowship until he reaches the topic of heathens. Vulnerable monsters in the eyes of God, deviants and child murders all. This man is spitting facts. Absolutely. Fully, fully agreed on that account. Might have to change to the three tragic kings to the four tragic kings. Or just the tragic kings. We're getting close to that point. I'm going to grab my coffee. I'll be right back.
my uh my aunt got this coffee creamer that's like fruity pebbles it's a fruity pebbles coffee creamer it's a very weird taste but it makes i'm very colorblind so what i am seeing is like a purplish almost brown color from this fucking coffee creamer and it's so unnerving to look at it it's such a weird color but it's, it's funny because i i never know if i'm seeing the right color because like when i look at light shades I, like i always just assume that i'm not seeing it right because it's usually the safe bet so it's probably like a bl bluish purple maybe oh very odd doing a nationalist china game on historical for achievements any tips make sure you get your army reforms done in your decisions if you don't do those very quickly you're gonna get fucked um if you don't do historical i assume this is hoi four right if you're not on historical if you're lucky you'll get a kaiserreich germany and you can actually work with them they will actually help you sometimes ironically as a nationalist china um obviously when you're in a war improve relations with anyone who will give you guns like the germans the british the french or the russians and then get them to lend lease you everything you need if you want to do it for the achievement you don't mind using a little bit of tomfoolery what you can do is if you basically in your like you know where you train divisions right add like 50 divisions there that you're not going to use but it will say that you have a deficit of that equipment it's really cheesy but if you make a bunch of those divisions that you're never going to make really and then you ask for a lend lease from someone who likes you uh they'll give it to you and they'll assume that you need the amount based on those troops you're training so you can get a bunch of fucking guns and shit That'd be my advice. That's what I always do when I do achievements. So, hope that helps. The tragic story of Lissandra, the conqueror of Barcelona, born into this cruel world with a dream of protecting this family, only to grow more cruel with each passing year. He weeps for his lost dream as protecting his family has led him to murder his own kin. That's really what it was, though, wasn't it? Like, dude, his mother died when he was, like, what was it, seven? And because his father killed her he never found that out did he did he ever find that out did we actually ever find out our father killed our mother i'm curious no he never found out how his mother died it was king solomon solomon killed her and yeah so he, he's just been trying to fucking find like safety and stability and protect his family his whole life and it's turned him into a fucking monster he had another fucking tragic Taurus King. Wretched Popper. As my entourage travels through a small town, I feel a tug on the hem of my clothes. Turning to look, I see a thin, raggedy man staring at me. Oh, great lord, I beg of you. Could you spare some coins for a poor beggar? He's a Catholic. I am starving, and none of the locals will aid me. We're callous, so we're not going to do it. Dude, begging is fucking rough. Like, what a... I'm gonna stop for a minute. Tell us one thing. Um, the, the 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 roughest thing I had, like, <laughs> I I've traveled a fair bit, and the one thing that I always struggle with the most, especially when I've gone to like countries, like I, I went to Nepal and India, I was there for a while, and there's a lot of things that like you're not used to. But dude, the thing that killed me every time traveling those countries was the amount of fucking beggars, like, cause it's rough, and some of them are fucking kids. Like I remember there were a few like really just. Like they were they were very poor kids who were clearly like very physically fucked up and they were begging and it's shitty because if like you start giving your money away to 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 beggars like that you'll you'll just run out of it because there's so many it's fucking horrible that shit is rough that was the always the thing i struggled with the most going to other countries that had that sort of thing i mean there's poor people in countries like this and we don't care take care of them either right but there's a little bit of i think uh you've got some options at least it's fucking, I don't know. That always rubbed me the rough way. I spot my wife, Etsynet, chattering excitedly to Gaithini, listing ideas and suggestions for his crown. My metalsmith is barely concealing his contempt, clearly annoyed at my spouse's interference. <laughs> and as you are forging the crown, it may as well match my grandmother's old crown. Oh, fuck. Um. Yeah, you don't, you don't need to listen to our wife. It's fine. She's, she's rambling. Spouse opinion, 50. Loyalty and respect. Oh, boy. 
And we have made it to Jerusalem, and we are now a pilgrim. The worst begging experience for me was in Turkey and the Syrian refugees. Mother begging me when I was newborn. Yep. It's horrible. Because you want to help them. I mean, I've, I've, I've given money to beggars many times, but, like, you can't just keep doing it. Especially if you don't have a ton of money, you know. It's horrible. My journey has been a long one, but I have finally come home again. Well, much remains the same, something has changed in how the priests and bishops treat me. Wonderful. We are a pilgrim, struggling in our late life with all the horrible things we have done. We have become even more religious and closer to God. Well, let's go ahead and build a church, too, now that we're back. Let's find somewhere we can build a church. Barcelona? Yeah. We'll, uh... We'll build a temple in Barcelona. It is a site of our conquest, and we have returned home from the pilgrimage. We'll build a new great temple complex there to honor it. Then we'll upgrade our holdings as well. If we can, we cannot. We've done most of it. Almeria we'll upgrade. Abiza we will upgrade. And... Vic, we will... We got a castle holding there. I didn't realize that. We'll build, um... When we have the money, we'll build hill forts there. Do you think Basu and Jedi Jamura are one of the most powerful vassals of my realm? I don't know how to keep them happy, so they don't go around stirring up trouble. Perhaps flattery is the way to go. Anyone would be pleased to have something made in their name, wouldn't they? I must have the right thing in their making. I should let my knight, Gathani, know that I am dedicating his masterpiece to my true most worthy vassals and advisors. We're not the type to do that, so we'll just dedicate it to the Lord. Oh god, the HRE is in Iberia. This HRE is getting out of hand. Like, this is really getting bad. Look at how fucking big they are. They're all the way into, like, the Balkans. They're all the way into Iberia. They're all the way into Scandinavia. Something needs to be done about this, and we're not strong enough to do it. Yeah, it's not like we can even split them up or anything. Also, we got a crown completed. What did we get? It is a really mediocre crown. We literally got almost the same one. That's disappointing. He's a he's a really good um he's a really good uh like uh what's it called antiquarian too. It's just her, our our wife and some other people really fucked with him when he was making it. All right, cool. We have a claim on the sheikdom now. Let's go ahead and get revenge. This Taifa was stealing money from our vassals, taking money and wealth levied upon our own people. Only we have the right to tax our people to death. See, he doesn't have the right to do that. So we're going to go ahead and get our revenge. We have a claim upon his capital, and we will take it from his cold, dead hands. Call the banners! This may be our last war, too. We're getting pretty old now. We're 53. I don't think we've had anyone live past 60 so far. There's always a first time, but given his lifestyle choices, I don't have a lot of confidence in him living to old age. We'll make Jedek Roderick our spy master. He's very competent. And our daughter, we will make our ward as well. Concern for my current war, my friend King Fader uh, Ferenc has paid out of his treasury to aid my efforts. Having a caravan of wagons laden with gold, Ferenc arrived this morning at my main encampment and is now busy paying my soldiers. Damn. The King of Hungary is... Oh no. I'm I fucked up a little bit. I fucked up a lot of bit. 
His title made me worried. And I was right to worry. Our son is married to his cousin. Because the King of Hungary is married to our sister. Fuck. Oh no. We can't get them to have a divorce either. What the fuck? Come on. Well, we're gonna live with our mistakes. Fuck. Oh no. <laughs> we started off so strong. Fuck. Oh no. Remember like four generations ago when House Torres was really strong, an up and coming family with ambitious, powerful men? I miss those days. Back in my day, we were a family that built things and killed people for the right reasons. Good, our daughter's improved at fighting. Let's go ahead and siege the capital. <sighs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, our, our kids are going to be inbred, possibly. Kill her, maybe? We could try and kill her. That's true. Would our son forgive us for that? I'll do a pull. Do we murder our son's wife who's his cousin? CK3. Such a beautiful game. Alrighty, pull time. Are we gonna try and kill our son's wi uh, uh, wife? While I was at the market with Olympia, her attention was caught by a criminal chained in the pillory. Olympia watched him for a while when he did nothing but cough and beg for water. She rolled her eyes and kept on walking. Takes after us. I'll say that. Oh. God, this, the parenting you see in these ga this game. Jesus, fuck, man. You can literally see, like, Poor parenting and childhood trauma happening in real time. It's quite impressive, really. You can see, like, ground zero for, like, the horrible acts all of our leaders are going to create down the line. Balthazar is kind of quirky. Is that what we call being inbred? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah. Yeah. Our son, we will give to, uh... Not her. Uh, Sahin Tuglak, who was one of our knights. We'll get him to train our third or second son. He was probably not ours. Luke Luke was one of the ones our wife probably had not with us. I'd say all of our children's ours were... Like, all of our children up to Ippolita were for sure ours, I think. Probably. The last two are very much in question. Princess Olympia was in question, and Luke was very much in question. He was born when we were on campaign. Um, so, yeah, probably not ours. No! All right, we're not going to kill our son's uh, wife. So the chance for inbred family members will go up by quite a lot. Belita has been studying records of long past kings in the local region, and she has been intrigued by one in particular. Very little was recorded the king in question. We already got this event, but she gets just, which is wonderful. Ah, uh ah, -huh. hold on, hold on. I hope you guys don't get bored of this song. I fucking love this Medieval Total War 2 Crusading song, and I'm gonna keep playing it for this whole CK3 portion of this campaign. A papal envoy is reached by a court bringing news from the Vatican. Pope Lucius issued a call to arms to all righteous Christian rulers. As a Catholic king, I am expected to prepare my men to fight for the Universal Church. It is a war for Bulgaria. The Holy See promises full absolution. We have to fight in this war. We have many many sins we have sinned much in our life much of it was for god but if we're gonna be honest a good part was for ourselves and our family too which might not let us get to where we want to go when we die so i think slaughtering lots of our men and putting our life on the line for christ for absolution is a wonderful way to go here call the banners wait it's not happening yet is it 
I'm a little, a little too excited to kill heathens here. For our beneficiary, we will go for... We need someone who can actually have kids. We'll go for Aramundu de Torres, who is an arbitrary, honest, chaste, and quick man. Is there anyone else? Yeah, he'll have to do. Aramundu. He sounds like a chaos demon or something. They have a big ass army. My god. Alrighty. Will it be for the White Horde or who will it be for? No, it's for the uh, for the Emir of the Borgin Zerkovo Emirate. Oh, that'll be right on the door of Constantinople. Whoa, all right. That's wild. Easy purgatory, Josh. Absolutely. <laughs> as long as we go fight the heathens and take land for God, we're going to go to heaven. We've done a lot of horrible things, but as long as we fight for Christ, we'll be all right. And we know that. We're plagued. We're plagued with, uh, with our consciousness. It's still there, but we know we have it out. Balthazar will be a gamer, trust me. Yeah, probably. Quirky inbred boy. Oh, boy. One cousin-cousin connection won't result in inbreed. It, it could, I think, can't it? There's a low chance of it, right? Maybe a DNA shakeup is what's needed for the cursed tragedy that befalls our kings. I think maybe marrying, like, really outside of our U Western European gene pool might be a good idea, yeah. Sitting for God? Pope Ottomans? You can't take Constantinople. What's the religious map looking like? That's a good question. Let's look one second. Sweaty, tired, and in need of food, a long day of training with the troops is coming to an end. As we search for a place to camp, we spot an old and abandoned castle in the distance. Widening my stance, I declare, that is where we will make camp for the night. The sun is setting, and with every step towards the ruin, it looks more ominous. Before long, the soldiers are whispering about ghosts. <laughs> no. No, we don't. We don't need that. We're going to go inside, though. Darkness, dampness, and desolation reigns within the castle, and all traces of life are gone. Peering up the king's stairs, I spot what looks to be the remains of lush tapestries and old paintings. Looking down spiraling steps, I see only darkness reaching far down into the ground beneath the castle. Five hundred gold, Jesus Christ. We're gonna face our fears. He is going through his fucking redemption arc right now. He's gonna go face his fucking fears. Which is probably what he's done. I feel like this man would fear nothing more than himself. Let's be honest. And God, probably. Yeah. All right, we're still at war. I completely forgot we're at war. Where did our army go? Oh. Oh, I demobilized my army while well, we're at war. Brain. All right, they have a huge fucking army. Can we call our good friend King Idris? We can. We're gonna call King Idris into the war. Good friends, good drinking buddies. Why not kill some heathens together? Good way to to bond, you know. I'm heading to my chambers to enjoy some blessed sleep when I hear a faint rustle from a window. Just the wind, I think. Till the wind starts to speak. You wanna open up? The king of France? My beloved is I, Guy. I push the shutters open and lo and behold, a man has climbed up our fucking niece's window. That's our son's wife. The king of France is... What the fuck, bro? The 17-year-old kid is trying to seduce her daughter-in-law. Why can we have just pushed him out of the window? Like, I'm just imagining, like, Game of Thrones Season 1, Bran being pushed off the fucking tower style for the King of France, you know? Why, why didn't we get that option in the event? That's bullshit. I want to be able to push him out of the fucking window. That's, that's what our boy here would do, let's be real. He wouldn't care it's the King of France, he'd push him out the window. Our man has almost no moral scruples. 
They're running. Fucking heathen cowards. They're hiding in the mountains. Let's try to go around them. Bridge Ritz, that would be funny. He tried to let the uh, feud go, but guy just couldn't let it go. No, no, the, the, the feud is not done. I can assure you of that. Fuck, they're gonna run us. And the crusade is on. God damn it. I don't have, we started this fucking war. Barcelona joined. Did they? Hold on. No, they're at war of Aragon, who we're at war of. We're fighting on the same side, technically. Good. All right, let's go fight them in Almeria. Religious map, yes, I apologize. I keep forgetting. Let's take a look. It's actually pretty centralized. Orthodox is very prominent. They've lost ground in Eastern Europe, though. Quite a lot of it. But they've gone really far east. Tengri has big patches still left all over. But uh, Islam is just still absolutely dominant. Orthodox really does have a lot more than I expected at this point, though. And there's a bunch of apostolic as well. Damn, that's a cool one. Iberia is almost all Catholic now. The insular religion is holding out a little bit in Ireland, but they're losing ground quickly. Let's see if there's any interesting ones around. These little pockets of orthodoxy and Tengri all over where the Ilkhanate ruled for a while. They didn't last long, though. The Ilkhanate really only lasted, I think, a decade or two. Tarumic. Mongolia, which was the successor of when they all broke up, was Tarumic. But there's only one area of, like, Central Arabia that still has it. That's interesting. Huh. Favorite tapas. Here we go. How old are we now? We're still leading men in combat at fucking 55. God damn. Here we come. We got Gallant too. We have every single martial fucking trade at this point. They're a strong army, but they're nothing like us. And we're rivals with the King of France. King Guy hated you since you became the head of House Torres. We're feuding again. Ah, the fucking French. We never should have stopped feuding with him. We're gonna challenge him to a fight. The fucking cur. Hey, did he accept it? Oh, he accepted! Oh shit, hold on, I gotta find dual music. Hold on, hold on, hold on, I got a song for this. Where the fuck did I put it? I guess this one. Yeah, here we go. Alrighty. Imperator was a horrible game, but my god, did that fucking soundtrack slap. For a few brief moments, King Guy and I paced lazy half circles, each watching for an opening. I have my Davidi sword, ready to defend myself while he clutches his magnificent spear. Firmly to hand, this fight may only be till first blood, but this doesn't ease my nerves. With a sudden twitch, our bout begins. The king wastes no time, meaning we've been at 10 series of piercing thrusts that force me back step by step. Hmm, let's see. We're gonna faint, or we're gonna stab! My sword makes a quick slash one way, only for me to draw a fresh dagger with my offhand, a lunge at Guy as he attempts to parry. With surprising speed, Guy unleashes a piercing thrust of his spear, nearly knocking my sword loose. My form is good, but with only a few errors, and Guy's stance is passable. My opponent's guard is fierce. I feel far from victory. Hmm. We're gonna have to fucking sword. Confident attack. My sword flows around Guy like water. He strikes shading fluidly into the next. A series of perfectly timed attacks out of nowhere. Guy hurls a heavy purse in my face, which connects with a crunch. By the time I've recovered, he's pressing his advantage against me. My form is good with only a few errors. Oh, he's just a good fucking fighter. God damn. We're gonna fucking do an expert onslaught. I leap 
into action. Launching a flurry of quick slashes, driving myself hard against Guy's guard. Wearing him down with each expertly timed strike. With surprising speed, he unleashed his piercing thrust of his own. My form is excellent with little chance for mistakes. We are now evenly matched with victory balanced on a nice edge. <laughs> oh. We're gonna faint at him again. It's our, it's our move. Oh, damn it! Splitting my attention between two strikes proves to have been ambitious. I'm first aware of the sword being ripped from my grasp with my offhand dagger jerks towards it involuntarily, only for that weapon to be smashed away from me by Guy's backswing. Breath the weapon, backup weapon, and with my opponent preparing to unseam my groin to neck, there's only one thing to do. You will rue the day! You defeated King Alessandro! We lost to the King of France! It was close, but he defeated us. And we captured the fucking Taifa. Beautiful. We won the war, but we lost the duel. And now, we sail to fight the heathen once more. Damn. How's it going, James Games? What's up? Thank you for the follow, Hipponet. Oh, the follow goal got reached. Oh, yeah. 2,500 followers. Hell yeah. I never noticed that. Hell yeah. I set that thing a fucking long time ago. God damn. Appreciate you all. Thank you for everyone who subbed and has watched for so long. I hope you all continue to enjoy streaming and the stuff I make. And I really appreciate everyone who followed and helped get here. God damn. Didn't realize that. Appreciate. Appreciate you all. Ah, we got Crusader. Our army stand poised to take part of the crusade from Bulgaria. St. George willing, we will soon rise victorious. The blood of the heathens painting the soil red. We can't avoid a chance to get a confrontation here. We're gonna fight them. Let's do this. We split their army in two and slaughtered those who lagged behind. So strong in the face of the enemy, my soldiers have fought valiantly so far in the Battle of the Barony of Misnopolis, but are slowly growing tired as their foes push harder and harder in rage against their demise. After a prolonged period of combat and a strong enemy counterpush, my men are stumbling around exhausted and in dire need of motivation. Seeing opportunity to deliver some inspiration, I step up to give my warriors a stirring speech. We're going to give a proper speech. It's stressful, but we did it. It didn't go well. My soldiers watch on unimpressed as I repeatedly clear my throat throughout the initial stages of my speech. <laughs> like I said, he's known for many things, but speaking is not one of them. That's for damn sure. He, his language is violence and murder. We're gonna get an alliance with the Prince of England. Nice. Next follower goal 5k? Yeah, probably. I'll need to set one up. I need to start like doing like either like sub goals or follower goals for to do stuff again. I haven't set those up in months. I just had like a long list of things I've like been planning to do, so there's been kind of no point. Alright, we'll negotiate an alliance with the King of Hungary. Who uh we have married into through two different generations. Siege the capital. Not too bad myself, James Games. Glad to hear that, man. There's two cheeses in the chat. There are two cheeses in the chat. That's that's true. I thought both of them were cheese from Discord. Fuck. You have a friendly support of Russian Empire towards you in the Sunday game. Yeah, the Sunday the Sunday Vic game is fucking wild. There's gonna be a world war and we might be fighting with the Russians, which is so weird. My agents have prepared for weeks. The cooks have been bribed to look the other way, and the poison has been acquired. And the duck was gifted to King Guy alone. This little shit. It will be rubbed over the poison with a bed of herbs will mask the smell it has served. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. 5% chance. 80% chance of being discovered. I don't give a shit. He beat us in combat. He tried to screw our daughter-in-law. We're going to do it anyway. It was thwarted. And we have been named at trying to do it. He knows we tried to murder him. Good. He should know. He should be afraid. 
We had a peasant revolt. We need to put that down when we get home. His wife is albino. Damn. Is there anything else we can do to this man? Nope. We could try and fuck his wife. But we don't know our wife is like actually... Oh, never mind. She's gay. She wouldn't be into that. Again, we're, we're too Christian to do that kind of stuff though. Unfortunately, I think our son will be too. He's zealous. Quick and Hawkeye. He looks like a bit of a dick. God damn it. God damn it. He was a really good heir. Come on. Oh god, karma's catching up. Balthazar has been murdered. God, how could you do this to my son? If I have sinned, why did you not punish me instead? He was blameless. My perfect son, life has too much in store for him. He got murdered. Probably the fucking French. He was with us too. He was crusading with us. We'll have to take his body back to Sardinia with us. Fuck. Our heir is probably not our kid. Um, yeah. There's a very high chance Luke is not our child, and he's our heir. But we can't confirm that. Alright. I'm going to lay something out for you guys, and I'll do a pull. You guys get to decide this, because this is a big call here. King Lissandro is a callous, hardcore, zealous-ass man who has very strong suspicions his wife is cheating. We don't know she is. We've never had it confirmed, but we're not fucking stupid. She had Luke when we were away for over a year. It's always possible. She got pregnant before we left. This is very unlikely. He probably knows that his current heir is not his kid. So the question is, do we keep him as our heir or we disinherit him and let one of our daughters inherit? We could let, uh, we could let either uh, Ippolita inherit and break her betrothal or we could let Princess Olympia inherit who's... <laughs> A callous alcoholic like we are. Anyway, do we keep him as our heir or do we disinherit him? We didn't think we'd have to probably confront this because we had our suspicions, but he was our second son, so it wasn't a big deal. Now it is because he's going to inherit. All right, pull us up. It'd be our first female ruler if we did that, unless we have another kid too. Which probably also wouldn't be ours, so that doesn't really count. We'll make Arizona as our marshal. Women can't rule. In his viewpoint. I don't know. He's religious, so he would lean that way. But he'd also lean the way that he doesn't want his bloodline to be stamped out. We're from a very strong, powerful bloodline. All our problems aside, uh, the Taurus family has a very rich history. He wouldn't want all that to go away with a son who wasn't his, right? I mean, if Luke isn't our son, this would be really the end of the Taurus dynasty in all but name. Our, our, our DNA would be at an end. That'd be at the end of things. You know? So that would weigh heavy on his mind. I mean, I'm sure he wouldn't want his daughter to inherit, but he also would want one of his actual kids to inherit, right? So, that's the, the issue here. Disinherit. All right. Why not? Let me do something. I thought I had more Imperator songs on here. I was going to play the Imperator Total War soundtrack. Or not Imperator Total War. A good one. All right. On the battlefield surrounding the siege of the capital of the Emirate of Bulgaria, after seeing his son 
die. Not in battle, not fighting the heathen, but slaughtered callously in his tent in our encampment, slain by some bold and cruel assassin. Doubtless, a fucking frog eater from the west. Seeing his firstborn son lie dead before him, and unable to take him back and be buried, struggling with grief and the actions he's taken in his life. King Lissandro, grieving heavily and looking to the future of his family before his men and all the good Christians sieging out the capital of the heathen, disinherits his son and names his daughter his heir, who, God damn it, no, I have to disinherit her too. Yeah. Who names Princess Ippolita as his heir. Our daughter, who we have brought up and tutored and trained ourselves, A woman who lacks in many ways, but it is strong enough and is undoubtedly of our own kin. We're also going to formally request a divorce, but the Pope will say no, but we'll at least say we tried. Who the fuck is our heir now? Oh no. Okay, she's ours. Player heir and granddaughter. Oh shit! It's our son's daughter! Oh shit! I forgot he had a daughter. When we disinherited Luke and our firstborn daughter, it went to our granddaughter. Cipriana de Torres. Whoa. Alright. She's six years old. <laughs> she has dyslexia. But she's intelligent and bossy. We'll take her under our wing. We'll, uh, we'll educate her ourselves. This is our redemption arc. We're gonna try and make our granddaughter better than us. Better than our son. A worthy heir to our family. We've done many horrible things in our life, and perhaps salvation will come to us through our acts in this crusade. But if it doesn't, we'll raise our granddaughter to be better than our son, than our daughters, than we were. I'm going to go get some uh, meatloaf. See you later in the Vicky game. Sounds good, Chiefs. I'll see you later, man. It's the inbred kid. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Yeah, that's our inbred granddaughter. Every now and then the sky over Valencia turns several colors at once. A natural hues of purple, red, green, blue, pink, and more. The last for several hours, since a strange phenomenon has been going on for many days and was witnesses throughout many settlements, as it could be seen for miles and miles. There were no uh, known effects, many of which witnessed it were bewildered. I wonder if that's like a supernova or something. That's cool. We're almost done with the siege of the capital. Peasant War has ended. Our dynasty is even more renowned. We are now glorious. And we have we have done all of our martial lifestyle. I think it's time we take a little jump here into intimidation and scheming. Perhaps some torture too. We're beyond salvation. Our granddaughter is not. We'll teach her well. But that doesn't mean we have to change our own lifestyle. We literally can't get any more martial skills. And we'll train uh, both our daughters in fighting. Can we not remove Guardian? Oh. She's considering the proposal. Let's do these real quick. Or remove her as her guardian? And then we will make our granddaughter our ward. And we're going to get her to learn? No. We're not going to get her to learn French. She doesn't need to learn such a barbar barbarous language. Mental break. Recently, I feel like I am not worthy of the kingdom of Sardinia e Corsica. Do other rulers doubt themselves as I doubt myself? I try to be a good... No, you don't. 
Realistic king, but my subjects take everything I do as mean spirited. I wonder why. Would that be the impaling, the murder, the plotting against family? Probably one of those. Others of my station don't seem to have problems controlling their inferiors. Let's go get shit faced. That always helps. Oh boy. Do you like CK or Vic more? That's a tough question. I like Vic better for multiplayer. I like CK3 better for single player. They're both really fucking good games. And they're only getting better. Vendetta against France? Absolutely. What am I naming at NTC? What's uh what's our next kid gonna be named? Our daughter came of age. She is a thrifty clerk. Nice. She almost got to inherit, but she didn't. He doesn't have much longer to go either, does he? You're gonna follow G4 Gaming 1? No, <laughs> we're not a good person. King Lissandra is a bad, bad man. I honestly think he's probably the worst of our kings so far, and that's saying a lot. Like, he's done some bad shit. Some bad, 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 bad stuff. <laughs> the Fool of Lagudoro. I do not know where it originates from, but a despicable song is going around town, amusing the common folk at my expense. An indolent dreamer, I wallow in squalor, I confuse impotence with sense such as my cowardly defense. Such gall! Earlier today, I even had a servant humming its melody, so I ordered her flogged. That's about right. I will say, despite his horrible nature, he has been our strongest king who has expanded our holdings the most. Like... His ambition and diligence has paid off. It's just... The cost. My god, the cost. Our family would be pretty fucking feared at this point, let's be real. And not the good kind, like the terrified kind. Early redemption, but your granddaughter's first son names Lissandro. Sounds good, we'll do it, NTC. Amogus. What mods do we have on? It's like 54. I can link you the mod pack if you'd like. Let me go into to my profile on Steam. One second. Collections. Mega campaign. Here is the list of mods if you'd like to play it. Uh, if you do so, you will have to roll your CK3 version back to 1.7.2. It does work with friends and foes, though. So it's a really fun mod pack if you want to use it. I'll be adding even more next grand campaign I do. Oh no, that's a big army. That's fine. We'll siege at the Willia. They're chasing us though. No, they're gonna siege it. Good. We don't need a number of our armies to be fucking slaughtered. We are trading our granddaughter, right? We are. <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna train Luke. Luke, uh, we'll need to find him someone to train him. We're going to send Luke to be trained by Archon Abdul. What we're going to do here is we're going to banish our son. Prince Luke, who we suspect of being of a different father from our wife. The one who we have disinherited. We are going to banish him. So like RP wise, he's not, we're not making him his guardian. What we're going to do is we're going to banish our fucking nine year old son from our court. And he's going to be taken in by Abdul. Our, one of our mini rivals. So we'll do it like that. He's technically banished. But we'll have to do it ourselves because of the game mechanics. Ah, uh, our daughter didn't learn. Hippolyta can marry now. Let's find her a, a good husband. King of Sweden. He already has children. The Duke of Brabant wouldn't be a bad idea. He has a daughter, but she would not inherit if... Our daughter bears him sons. The Duke of Piedmont would be a very good one. He also has daughters and he's pretty old. Prince of England. The Earl of Surrey is very fucking strong. Jesus Christ. He's really old though. We don't hate our daughter that much. 
We'll marry her to the Duke of Brabant. If, as long as she has a son, he'll inherit. It's her duty. I'm sure she'll do it. We just got slaughtered in a battle there. Oh, man. Where are... Did we make it out? Yeah, we have 7,000 men. We lost a giant battle in the mountains of Bulgaria there. None of the Crusader armies came to help us. We're going to reorganize and see if we can get back there to help fight this big battle coming. Oh, no, we're not going to make it. Our other daughter came of age. age. Jesus Christ, she's a fucking Giga Chad. Look at that. Skilled tactician, aspiring blade master, a drunk, intelligent, chaste woman. Yeah. She should have inherited, man. She's a fucking beast. Let's find her a husband. I'm gonna give her a matrilineal marriage. She is too much a woman for a ruler, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm not gonna put her into our inbred fucking family. Jesus Christ. Everyone on fucking Sardinia is a fucking one of our family members, though, at this point. That's the problem. No, can't find one. Alright, let's find someone with claims, then. He has claims on the Duchy of Bavaria, and he has regal bearing. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, no, he won't accept it. Never mind. Um, hmm. No, he will. Matrilineal marriage. We're gonna we're gonna push his claim later on, and we're gonna get our family put onto into into power in Bavaria. They gonna follow Brad Doge two thirteen. Appreciate that man. Give her to the English or something. No no no. Our, 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 one of our daughters already married to the king. King William the tenth is married to our daughter Queen Juana. Our firstborn child and firstborn daughter. He's a fucking beast too. He's a famous champion, a brilliant strategist, an adulterer. He's cheating on our fucking daughter. Hold on, I take it back. He's a piece of shit. Oh, he is such a fucking... This dude is so, like, good and bad at the same time. He's cheating on our daughter, though. Fucking asshole. Yeah. Uh, we'd, we'd want to do something about that. We know that he's cheating on our daughter. She's already born him children. People of our blood flow through the royal veins of England. I saw no reason that we cannot exact our revenge upon him. We're going to plot for his murder. Kill him? Yeah, yeah. We can definitely get away with it. Oh. <laughs> I literally said it seconds before. The existence of my plot to murder King William has been discovered. That might create some diplomatic problems. Fuck. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're not very good at it, are we? We have a lot of enthusiasm towards murder, but we really struggle with execution. <laughs> Pun intended. Let's get in there. Beautiful. We made it. Slaughter the heathen. Please don't crash. Come on. Come on! I believe in you! Maybe not. Uh-oh. This might be a crash. I have so many fucking mods on and we're so late in the game. Fuck. You gotta stop calling stuff, uh, my, my son is good, and then... We are nothing if not a fucking contradictory individual, let's be honest. We defeated them! Quick, we need to get the siege of the capital again. Ah, oh, no, they beat us to it. The fucking Barcelonans! Nah, they left. Good. We're gonna take the siege for ourselves. We'll not lose the prize of the Holy War to our fucking enemies in Barcelona. Not a chance. We have a lot of money, too. Let's see if we can upgrade anything. We will build... Build hill forts in Barcelona. We'll upgrade the docks. Good stuff. Being raided yet again. It's those fucking heathens from the islands out in the west. 
<laughs> I fucking knew it. My wife, Queen Etienne, is once again absent from our chambers as night falls. She has been distant lately, lost in thought, and rarely seen at court. Am I not to her satisfaction? Fucking cheater. We're gonna investigate it. We got stressed out. Fuck. We know our wife's fucking cheating on us. Good thing we disinherited Luke. God fucking damn. That was a fucking... That's gonna save our dynasty. That'll save our bloodline. Because what that'll do. This is a very tough crusade, I will say. The Muslims have gained a lot of power back now that they've taken much of the Middle East back to themselves. Without the Mongols controlling so much here, there's a lot more centralized authority in these regions. So holy wars will be really difficult again. Also low on knights. We keep losing them in these fucking wars. Let's go ahead and invite more knights as well. We also have enough prestige. We might be able to get another Sardinian tradition. Let's take a look at that real quick. Yeah, we can. All right, really briefly, let's let's take a quick moment from uh, the slaughtering of the heathens. I know it's hard. It, it pains me to do it as well. But, all right, we have the option here to get another uh, reform for the Sardinian culture. Well, anything you guys suggest, I will put into a poll, and then we can decide the future of the Sardinian culture. What do we kind of feel exemplifies our culture? We started off as more of a trading kingdom, a trading people, and we still are. Our wealth is great, our ports spread across the Atlantic and the Mediterranean, but we're also becoming a very warlike people under King Lissandro. He's transformed our society very quickly. So what are we thinking here? Collective lands? That's not a bad one. I'll kind of scroll down for people who don't have the game open. See if there's any ones that might make sense here. Family business, that would that would check out. Legalistic, maybe. Metal workers for sure. We have a huge industry hub here. Mm, traditionalist, definitely. Mm. Only the strong. Yeah, that that check out. Quarrelsome, yep, definitely. Reverence for veterans, strength in numbers. Warriors by merit, yeah, definitely that. <laughs> Not charismatic. Experienced whalers, that makes sense. Expert artisans, of course, you've got a huge textile hub here. Industrious would make sense. Not loyal subjects, that's not one thing we have. Storytellers. Strong believers, yeah, definitely. Strong believers would make sense. By the sword. Linguists. Tabletop warriors. All right, what are we thinking here? Cultural blending because of trade, yep. Equal inheritance could be fitting since you have given a woman uh, in, in charge of our line. That's true. That makes sense. A war tradition, only the strong. All right, last chance. If you want to propose something, uh, put it in chat right now because I'm going to make the poll. We have collective lands. We have only the strong. We have equal inheritance. We have strong believers, definitely. Yeah, definitely. And anything else? Eye for an eye. Ooh. Yep, all good. All right, I'll do. Uh, I'll do three minutes for this one. We'll do a bit of a longer one. So, uh, while we're doing that, I'll go over what they do really quickly. I probably should have waited. Um, shit. Let me see if I can find them really quickly here. You can't search for them in this either, which sucks. By the sword gives everyone devotion for diplomacy, martial for devotion, piety, and reduction in different faith opinion. Uh, no limit to the number of kingdom level holy wars that can be declared by a single ruler. That one is there. Let's see, what were the other ones? I think we had a warfare one, didn't we? Shit. 
Only the strong, which means all knights must have 12 prowess. Blade Master gives more bonuses, and all martial education traits give more prowess. It increases the cost of men at arms, but it gives us more knights, and it gives us a 100% increase to knight effectiveness. It does reduce our entire levy size by 25%. Quality over quantity kind of situation there. Where was I for an eye? Hmm. Not seeing that one. Equitable would allow, make uh, just more, no, equal inheritance is what it was, wasn't it? Not too sure. We'll find out soon. <laughs> we love war. All right, anyway, I'll let that poll go. I feel our king would endorse only the stronger warriors by mana or strong believers. Yeah, he'd be a fan of all those. But culture is more than just a ruler, right? Culture represents the general outlook of the people themselves. Our people have been underneath many kings by now. They've all been very varied in what they've done. Trading, wealth, war, and strong religion has been pretty prevalent across all of them, alongside madness. So you got to think about it more from the people who have been underneath our family, more than our family themselves, right? So... All right, we'll see what happens. See Jonah never holding. We'll take Burgess on the border here on the on the uh, Black Sea. A pageantry of court continues day after day from dusk to dawn. Glimmermon extemporates on my greatness, spouting platitudes and praises. Nearby Archon Arizona joins in, pointing to the crowd, grinning stupidly and expecting a sign of my fervor for his actives. A deep, incessant desire to call for my me to lose myself and it slowly builds. <sighs> Knowing in my mind and distracting my attention, a lone bead of sweat trickles enormously down my brow. Jesus, we're such an alcoholic. Oh, you're right, my lord. Fuck. We just got stressed out. We're, we're thinking about getting drunk while we're holding court. Another mental break. Oh, we're getting up there now. I sit brooding on my throne. My heart heavy with memory, mulling over some things I did years and years ago. Did I work hard enough back then? Did my toil avert trouble or cause it? Have I ever truly done the right thing? No, <laughs> no, no, there's an easy answer to that. We're gonna go running. I'm gonna go, we're gonna go for a ride. Long walks of the mind. Yeah, we're just struggling in our old age with everything we've fucking done. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, granddaughter. Young Kipriana has decided to organize a simple play for uh, my and some of the other courtiers' entertainment. Well, normally it might seem like it would be beneath her, but she has already put in so much effort into it, and it's only a bit of a play. The children are putting on a comedic tale of a foolish knight that charges at towers, <laughs> calling them giants, Don Quixote. God damn it. And of course, Kipriana is doing her best act of fool, just for my enjoyment. Gregarious. We're trying to make her better than us. We're trying to find redemption through our granddaughter, our heir. So we're encourage her better nature, which is good. She's gregarious, the better trait than we ever had. Oh man, we gotta siege these mountain areas. There's no way around it. We won. Beautiful. St. George has granted. Oh, it's our fucking cousin. King Aramundu, victory in the crusade for Bulgaria. After defeating Timujin and his heathen warriors on several occasions, our warriors forced the enemies of the faith to admit their ignatious defeat. Wow. Our, our cousin is going to become king of Bulgaria. Hell yeah. A good Christian king and one of our dynasty. This is going to be our third crusader king for our family. No, fourth. I think we've had four of them now. The only one who still has any sort of power, he formed Castile. Holy shit. These guys were one of the Crusader Kings we established from the Muslims. He's the only one who still rules. King Idris, he's a good friend of ours. He formed, they formed their own dynasty, but they're a branch cadet branch of our family and they actually formed Castile. Damn. Our family is pretty fucking prominent. Jesus Christ. We got 3000 gold. With the establishment of a proper Catholic king in Bulgaria, the faithful can rest easy, knowing that St. George is smiling upon our good works. No! Wrong button. Let's go back. 
Oh. No, I don't want to play as him. All right, who won the poll on that? Only the strong. All right. Only the strong it is. Let's reform our culture. Let's see if we have enough for it. We do. Oh, we have to wait until fucking 32. All right, that'll be the next one. I keep I keep jumping the gun on this. In 27 years, we'll go for only the strong. We'll ransom that guy. Let's repair our artifacts too. I meet a local noblewoman who is a renowned dog trainer. Under her expert guidance, she has trained many dogs to be hunters, companions, guards, and more. When I ask her what her secret is, she scoffs and says, You've got your people, and you've got your dogs. Dogs are loyal and stupid, people are smart and devious. Stick with dogs. Dogs do tend to be very loyal and simple. Alright, let's repair our artifacts here before they all get broken. We've got a, a windfall here in our treasury, so we should use it. Quarrel and bloodlust. A work of poetry dedicated to King Lasanda's victory over the abhorrent Duke Yon Guraru, written by a Jedi Duel Noon. I remember him. He died in battle in that war we lost. This is why I like the artifacts in CK3. They have so much like history behind them. So cool. Emir Muforiji approaches me, mentioning our shared uh, interest in military manners and wanting to exchange ideas. He says to be well read on topics concerning strategy and tactics. He's a Catholic. He was one of the ones we forced converted, so sure. We'll speak with him. Why not? Check the poll. Yep, only the strong won it. And save me up to one million habit coins instead of the beard shaved. Oh boy. Oh boy. Turn the music down a little bit too. Man, Imperator soundtrack is so good. Not as good as the medieval soundtracks, but still pretty good. Alrighty. We'll go a swift execution. Or become even better at murder. And why don't we go ahead? Can we wait? No, we have to wait. In 1312, we can try again. If we live another six years, we can try and kill him again. And the scorching midday heat. They sit in the shadow under a great stone pine, playing on lukes and flutes. They sing in many tongues. If my heart cannot understand every word, I can hear them from my balcony, and they stir my soul. And I do not know the identity of these musicians, and when I leave my lofty halls and approach the tree, they are gone. I thought only the troubadours of Ossetania possessed such talent and wit, but perhaps I was mistaken. What am I to do with these damned feelings? <laughs> we'll invest in music. We can actually hire way more courtiers, too. We have the money for it. Let's get a food taster. We'll do Torbjorn. As long as he's Catholic, he is. Amir Mufaraji of Mercia has asked if I'd like to get together for a small bout of carousing. We don't need a reason to go drinking. I can tell you that. We're right, gathered here today to witness the marriage of Aubrey and Sancha. Our grandson is being married to... Oh yeah, that's our... The Prince of England. Nice. Good for you, lad. Master of the Horse. We'll give to... Abdul Rahman. Master of the Hunt. We will give to Kiridori Basilio. Let's reinforce all of our allies at court. The Royal Architect we'll give to Jedek Roderick. Seneschal we will give... To... Hmm... We'll give it to him. He's been around. He's been with us fucking forever. 72. Jesus Christ. Look into those fucking eyes. That's a man who has fought in our wars since we were a fucking kid. Look what it did to this poor fucking knight. Do you see his eyes? <laughs> Let's give him a proper pose. He's a, he's a strong man. He, des he deserves a better pose. Those are the eyes. Of a man who have fought with us in countless wars, countless battles, and countless sieges. And I think it's probably gotten to him, let's be honest. He's a... We'll reward him for his efforts. We'll make him Seneschal. Our cupbearer, we will make our daughter. 
Our poet? We have no one for that. Our musician? Are all bad. Our bodyguard will go with some of our loyal knights here. We've got the money for it. We'll get a couple bodyguards. You need to convert. We'll give it to Lutbert von Hohenlohe. He'll be our other bodyguard. And then we will go for, of course, a personal champion, which will be Seifullah Hassan. We have a lot of gold. I need to figure out what to do with this. As one plate of food is replaced by the next, my son-in-law, King William, the one we tried to murder, and he knows that, goes on and on about sword practice. And that was how we salvaged that mess. Are you sure I'm not boring you, my lord? He's also cheating on our daughter. <laughs> You're making a fool of yourself. Could never bore me. We're getting closer to becoming a rival with him. That's fine. He's cheating on our daughter, so we don't care. We don't respect him. <sighs> Yet again. We can all tell Queen Juana, our daughter, had too much to drink. She's the one who's being cheated on, by the way. Um, by, by William of England. Uh, even though she insisted on showing us how sober she was. Simply rising from her seat proved too much for her, and now it's all covered in sinking vomit. She puked on us. Good to see family traditions are continuing. Yeah, I go tell the fuck himself. God damn. We're a religious icon. Almost a living legend, too. Let's try and commission another crown. We need a good one. Will you redecorate our palace uh, into a royal court? Several likely decorating candidates present themselves. Uh, those nearest and most trustworthy to me are the realms of Kaiser Fenzel, our Pope Lucius. Selecting a style that's considered more renowned than my own court would be a personally humbling, but lend me some of the foreign realms air of grandeur. Conversely, emulating Lusseron would show magnanimity and build my legend abroad at the cost of some reputation at home. We'll go with something foreign, as long as it's not heathen. We have Ermine Col Cloaks now. One of our rivals has died. Let's see, we'll go for... Go for Condottieri. We're really far ahead on tech. Develop the capital. And we'll go drinking. And then we'll go running in the morning after. Gotta balance things, you know. Beautiful. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My knight Ragnar approaches me with a thoughtful expression. <coughs> excuse me. Water went down the wrong throat. Is there anyone special to you, my lord? Not our wife. We'll, we'll, we'll name it for a god. We'll name the crown for god. Man, we are fucking old. We are 61. We made it a ways. <laughs> yeah, he's seen some fucking shit. That, that, that boy had seen some shit. He's been in a few too many shield walls, I think. He's, he's uh, gone over too many siege ramparts, I think, in his time. He's 72, and he's fought in all our wars. All of his old, like, veteran buddies are dead, let's be real. We've killed them in our wars. All right, let's see if we can expand any of our holdings. I think we'd build up everything in Sardinia. No, we haven't. We'll construct this city in Tortoli. We'll construct a city in Arborea as well. And in Corsica. We'll upgrade their holdings. We're not greedy, so we'd, we'd be willing to upgrade the holdings of our vassals. Because, of course, it all does come back to us eventually. Whether men, money, or merchandise. Prosperity in our realm only flows back to us. Hmm. We upgraded most things already, though, to be honest. Oh, we're out of gold. Cool. I spent it all. Beautiful. So what the hell are you doing? Hot tough stream it will be. We have the money. We're gonna go to max style everything. 
Hot couture fashion, exotic food, grand lodgings, and exotic servants. I want to see if we can get the most prestigious court in the wor world before we die. Time of heritage. The mightiest men must leave this earth. And hope of good words, there is no dearth. And when their final hour is near, hope shall they, their name brings cheers. Man. I really wish they would put better fucking poetry in these events, I swear to God. We'll go hunting. Work off some stress, killing things. That's how we deal with our problems. You would think as a creature from myths, perhaps a god disguised in animal form. It was the largest heart I'd ever seen. And I killed it. Make a fine crown. Yeah. We're gonna turn this giant fucking heart antlers into a crown and we're gonna get 29 dread. Are we maxed out on dread? Yeah, we are. A hundred out of a hundred. We literally just came back from our hunt wearing a, like a, a makeshift crown made out of a giant fucking mega deer. That's in theme. That's in theme. My hunt master, Kiridari Basilu, approaches carefully, cradling a wool uh, wood bundle. A granny pulls back the swatting, revealing a pair of squinting eyes and a long tongue. A puppy! He can hardly keep the excitable furball in his arms. A gift from the finest mastiff litter I have seen in some time. He says between face looks, you must take advantage to expand your kittles, my lord. One thing, one thing King Lissandro likes. It's not people, it's not family, it's alcohol. But he does like animals, so... We're gonna go ahead and get a pet dog. It's fucking expensive, though. The peasant in front of me seems about to explode with excitement. My lord, the miracles, the holiness, we have been blessed. Her enthusiastic ramblings are confusing, but I finally get the gist of it. She wants me to sponsor a cult of local saint who has been recently died in Tatalis. Agaga was a miracle. Maker in life, known for uh, eating piled berries all his life and never aging. Well, clearly he did, because he's dead. And apparently he wasn't too healthy either. Oh, this is blasphemy. We're not dealing with that. You shall not worship idols. In a brief moment of silence, I see Kiridari Saf 1 observing a fly crawling on my gilded decorations before realizing that it's his turn to speak. My leash! Smiled and laughed, sure. A great indicate of a lively court. This I have a suggestion for someone who would make a great gesture to entertain us. My maid, Jedek Onoradu, speaks up from the sidelines. A gesture will ruin the sophisticated air of this court. True. True. No. We're, <laughs> we're not the type to want a gesture. We won't allow for that. No, 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 no. It doesn't behoove us. They would have followed Mr. Cheese 915. Beardless, Hamu, and hairless. Oh boy. All right, we need a name for our dog. This is our last. This is gonna be probably our last pet in our life. We're old as shit. We know that we're gonna probably die before our dog does. Our son will inherit him. What are we gonna name this dog? What's what's a good name? Something from our life or from history or something meaningful. Anyone have a good one? Also, we only have 20 more minutes. I don't know if he'll die today, by the way, because we have the Vic game after this. Hold fast isn't a bad one, to be fair. Something going on with the, the mud. Um, King George B Balto, call him dog. <laughs> Strong, call him Jens, ghost. Oh, and we're gonna go ghost. That's a good one. Hopefully he's a dire wolf, I doubt it. God, I can't wait. Boys, I'm so fucking hyped for fucking CK3 Game of Thrones mod. I'm going to be honest, when that mod comes out, I'm going to be running single player roleplay campaigns of it for a good long while. I already have a list of campaigns I want to do when that mod comes out. Unfortunately, most of them I can't do because we're only going to get the fucking, the, the rebellion uh, it, it start, but there's still some ones I want to do for that. Oh, so I can't wait. My devotion is used as an example by all, from mighty king to lowly beggar, and with it comes disciples. 
The day Drew Stew is ushered in and introduced as representing a small Sardinian mercenary band from Valencia. Most Holy King, my friends and I hear of a wondrous crown being made for you. We should donate to a metalsmith. Oh, wonderful. That's nice of him. I really want us to get a good crown before we die. Some Something to leave behind as a legacy for all of our ancestors to remember our strength and our decisive reign. Yeah, it's gonna be so fucking good. I can't wait. Oh, oh. Then we can have an actual ghost direwolf. That'll be the good shit. Oh yeah. We'll ask the Pope for gold so we can have debt. We have a crown. It's mediocre. Why can we not, to save our life, get a good crown, I swear? Yet another mediocre one. God damn it. That's unfortunate. I'm heading for my chambers to enjoy some blessed sleep when I hear a faint rustle from a window. Just the wind, I think. Till the wind starts to speak. This dude is trying to seduce our fucking wife. Eddie open up my sweetheart. It is I, Aubrey. I push the shutters open and lo and behold, it's the fucking King of France, this bitch. Oh, he's goddamn French. First, our daughter, and now our goddamn wife. Is there no end to these fucking French? Or we're gonna have our fucking revenge. I parried and Samir spit in my granddaughter Kipriana's food during dinner a few nights ago. It seems as if Kipriana is trying to tire Samir out by not reacting to her bully. I respect it. Calm. Yeah, we're trying to we're trying to make her better. We're trying to find redemption for our family. We'll we'll encourage it. It hurts us to do so, as a very vengeful man, but we'll encourage it. My cheese is the best cheese. I have to pull, pull an M&M &M and kill them all. Damn right. I have several cups of spiced wine into the meal, and I would normally uh, by now be quite merry. Unfortunately, that cursed presence of Guy. We're at a fucking feast with that dick again. Daglia opposite me at the table bites my evening. We've married into our families, like, often. Like, this is literally basically family feud at this point. All it takes is the merest hint, a slay of his mouth, and we're leaning across the surface, pointing fingers and shouting at the top of our voices. You fuck, doodle! You chur! He bellows. You couldn't best a child in the test of strength. I could pin your arm to the wood right now with very good effort. You are 24 and we are 61, but fucking prove it, you bitch. We fucking beat him. At 62 years old, King Lissandro shows the King of France, a young lad, a person, a king who thinks himself so strong that he is no match for an old man. We may be old, but we are still strong. We're now known as the strong arm. We've been known as the foolish. We've been known as the conqueror. And now we're known as the strong arm. God fucking damn, man. Day after day, I have to tolerate the presence of my knight, Ardivan. Whenever I talk to him, he furrows his brow. Is he trying to insult me? I'll accept no more disrespect from the fool. Someone has to teach him a lesson. Fucking hell. We're gonna wound him. No, we, we failed. We tried to wound him. It is with a glint in his eye that my knight Torbjorn approaches me. My lord, I could help but notice the fine craftsmanship of your hardened luminar armor. However, only a true expert on the battlefield like myself could identify the tiny adjustments that can make an effective tool of war. I tune him out as he starts rambling about symmetry, balance, and edge consumption. I get the general gist. Uh, you can improve our artifact. Go for it. See how good he made it. Oh, not bad. Yeah, he's fucking weak. I'm excited to watch the Vicky game today. It's going to be good. Only sad thing is that we might have to have a generic France. True, that's the downside. It's going to be a wild one today. There's a lot going on in that game, too. Speaking of which, I have a DM about that. Okay, yeah, we have been invited to the, uh, the Newfoundland uh, conference. I'll explain all this in like 15 minutes when I stop and we move on to Vic. There's a lot that's happened in the RP this week. A few weeks ago, 10 children went missing from one of the towns in Barcelona. Locals sent out search parties but could not find any sign of the children. Many feared some calamity befell the children, like being killed by wild animals. Thankfully, Miro de Savillo, one of my mental officials working in Barcelona, continued searching even after everyone gave up. His persistence paid off and he managed to track down the children. 
Apparently they were kidnapped by a band of bandits who find to sell them into slavery. Now we're gonna we're gonna promote him. We could give him Barcelona. Nah, he's not one of our dynasty. We'll give him a promotion though. Wonderful. Our daughter has married Vel von Bologna, who has a claim on Bavaria. Beautiful. We'll pay for the marriage. We need to make it a respectable one so we can press their claims one day. Maybe. We'd have to fight the HRE. <laughs> oh, boy. Stories about how ghosts frequently pass through a village in Valencia. They do not do anything to anyone per se, but they do appear at night every now and then to eerily be peacefully marching through the settlement. Our family and ghosts, man. Every time. Pull time! Last pull of the day, I'd say, too. Oh, before big three. All right. Pull time. Do we go like our father and our grandfather to search for ghosts? It didn't end well for them, but maybe we're different. We're stronger. We have a strong mind, you know. Maybe maybe we can do what they never could. See ghosts and not go insane. Prussia? Yeah. Germany, actually. We're, we're going to be uh, unified today. Is there any way to destabilize the HRE? We just have to kill a bunch of the fucking Kaisers until there's a revolt that wins. Nice! Our daughter-in-law, our daughter and the, the person she's marrying became friends. It's better than hatred. Do we have anything we can even upgrade at this point? Yeah, we'll see. Long evening of state business with Jedek Jumari has slowly degenerated both of us deep in our cups. I've just finished by retelling a tale about my grandfather's amorous exploits. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Oh, man. He was a wild one. When I see an untoward gleam in my companion's eye, thoughts of blackmail race unbidden in my mind, perhaps Jedek Jumari is actually a little keener on the subject than he knows. He's a deviant. Yeah, we'll end it there. Yeah, we, we, we should probably check it out, you know. You never know what we'll find. For a long while now, there have been stories circulating about supposed ghosts appearing in massive numbers in some settlements in Valencia. I was curious. I wanted to see if I could catch a glimpse of some supernatural phenomenon. So on a whim, I decided to go there myself, to a town where such things are apparently common. Once we arrived, I and several guards decided to stay the night, watching outside my window for any sign of spirits. We sat there at the window for a long time, deep into the wee hours of the night, still nothing interesting happened, and I was asleep by the time the sun rose. We didn't see anything. Perhaps that's a sign. Perhaps the madness of our family is gone. Or perhaps we just simply aren't crazy or having the connection our ancestors have had. That's good. We didn't see anything. We're going to keep our sanity. Is there a way to destab- oh, I already read that one. Yeah, you have to you have to support a faction inside it and take it down. We're gonna bring our dog to the council meeting. They can go fuck themselves. <laughs> Damn, I thought we would get to a new character today. He's just really living a long time, isn't he? 62. We have 20,000 men. We could do another war. Oh, 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 boy. We beat the shit out of her mother. We're 62. She's 62. We're going to challenge her, much like her mother, to a fight for our battle axe that was taken when they sieged us. The last artifact Barcelona has from when they sieged at our capital and won the war against us. We're going to challenge her for it. Ah, she said no. She refused it. Coward. Coward. When we're done murdering. When we're done murdering the Prince of France. 
the brother of the king, we're gonna maybe try and steal it. I know, we need to try and kill the king again too. If we could kill him in our life, oh, be nice. Town of Menorca has recently seen uh, some unfortunate happenings. There's been heated debate about a local issue in one larger town that is too irrelevant to my attention, but it was contentious enough that two people present at a recent meeting of various notables came to blows. It's irrelevant. We're going to ignore it. We have a lot of holdings. I idly sit at court one day when I see one of my young servants stare across the hall at one of my young maids for far too long. She notices and looks at him confused. He immediately jerks his head away, embarrassed, awkwardly avoiding her gaze. It's old news that he finds her attractive, but hasn't worked up the courage to tell her. Meanwhile, she's a smart girl who finds him agreeable, but is too absent-minded and oblivious to know better. Would we give a shit? We're just going to become nostalgic. Ah, oh, to be young again. How I miss it. And we'll just we'll be nostalgic. We're not the type to go help him. We just, we'd make it about us. The King of France is attempting to kill Luke. We've banished him already. He will not inherit. We don't care. My agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way and the poison has been acquired. All right, we're going to try and kill the brother of the King of France. We, it has been thwarted. But we were not given away. It's taken over 16 months. Can we try and kill him yet? Nope, not for another four years. So we'll try and murder his brother again. Are we actively feuding with our family? No, we're not. I have noticed your interest in the arts of subterfuge, my lord. I might be able to help you learn even more. My cousin, Duchess Eusobia, smiles serenely as she joins me in the gardens. She's renowned as anyone about these sets of skills can get. Sure. Yeah, she has 26 intrigue. Damn. We inherited the Curadoria of Requina from uh, male preference. Where's that at? Or above our limit. What did we inherit? Oh, in Valencia. We'll get that to one of our relatives. So we're going to search for Dynasty, yeah. For Shitaru. And then we'll go by Competence. Saduro Ayasio. He's from the cadet branch of our family, but he's he'd make a good vassal. We need strong men to rule in Iberia, so we'll grant him the holding. He's family. We'll upgrade the barracks in Barcelona. We do everything we can to prepare for the future. Not everyone will be strong like us. <laughs> I am visiting a minor noble one who lives nearby to discuss local issues. It's funny how these petty nobles think they're so powerful when their problems are but inconveniences compared to the daily issues they face as king. We are sitting in her manor garden enjoying a luncheon when this noble one yells at one of her servants, a child of about 10 years. I told you not to do that. Why can't you speak any Sardinian yet? When I ask her what's the matter, Noble Bone shakes her head. I'm struggling to understand anything this idiot says. Spending money to acquire this child for my household was a waste. I'm sorry, what? I didn't think we were cool with slavery as good Christians. We'll buy, I guess, fuck it. We'll just buy her ourselves. We'll keep her in our household. Get intrigue. Was that a thing? Yeah, he is a robot. Was that a thing? Does anyone know? I didn't think there was like any sort, even for like heathens, there was any sort of like pseudo slavery. I mean, there was obviously like, you know, courtiers who were like serfs and stuff like that, but I wonder what that was. We are a grander 10 court. Let's see, let's, let's see if we're number one. We're still third. The HRE and the Pope still have more prestigious courts than us, but we're pretty close. Damn. Not enough. Only 90. We might get there, though. What was the thing? Hmm. I don't remember reading about that too much. Ah, we got a secret from one of our vassals. Alright. Uh, three more minutes, and then we're going to have to switch over to victory. Victory. 
Someone is plotting to kill us. Ah, uh, it's the King of France yet again. We can challenge him to a fight in two years if we're not dead. On my way to the church one morning when I run into Lubert, who's carrying a small bag, glancing around, he conspirally opens it, revealing all sorts of food and drink. It's a beautiful day. Come join me outside for a morning picnic. As I start to protest that I'm on my way to church, he interrupts me. God will still be there later, but these candied figs won't. <laughs> if he doesn't care for God, he's not a good friend. We're very religious. It's weird actually having a ruler who hasn't died young. He's done so fucking much. Because he was the character who got religious from our Joan of Arc S character. That was him. He's just been in our life for so fucking long. Alright, we need a new master of the hunt. We'll go for Sudaru. We just appointed him to the title. My granddaughter Kipriana and her little friend Luke. Friend Luke! She better not be friends with him. We banished him. Uh, taking a copy of sculpture, scriptures from the study and brought it to the playroom. Completely ruined it. Torn pages, footprints on the cover, no respect whatsoever. Seems as if little Kipriana doesn't care for the word of the divine. We'll make her humble instead. If she's not going to be religious, she will at least be humble. She is a gregarious, calm, and humble woman. Damn. She may actually be a good leader. I hate to say that, because they always go wrong, but she seems solid. Hemu, complaining that his character isn't dying for uh, 20 for once. I'm just not used to it. I'm really just, it's just weird. I'm just used to them all dying so fucking young. It's just odd to have a leader who's lived so late in life. Ah, we have a granddaughter. We have a lot of fucking grandkids now at this point. God damn. How is our young da uh, granddaughter doing? Capriana 77654. Let's see if we can train her. She's old enough to be able to train, be trained at skill of arms. Uh, she doesn't want to learn. <laughs> we get her to study another language. Get her to learn Arabic. Huh. We're way too religious and zealous for that. What about Italian? That'd be a good one to learn. Yeah, we'll get her to learn Italian. That'd be useful. If she could communicate with Italy, the HRE, and the Pope in Italian, that would be very useful. We're not going to allow her to learn fucking French like her goddamn mother. Cheating French whore. That's all I'm saying. All right, we're gonna try and kill the brother of the King of France again. Let's see if we get it. He got away again. Oh God, he's gotten away with it twice now. We are really bad at murdering people, aren't we? All right, our second son came of age. He's an intelligent gray eminence. Who of course, uh, if I haven't already banished him, I'm gonna do that. We're gonna demand he takes the vows. We're gonna make him become a knight. He's bisexual. All right, he became a monk. We forced him into uh, into the clergy. So he can't inherit and he can't have children. He won't be a danger to our family. He's clearly not our bloodline, so it's the, it's the best way he can go about killing him. Let's go drinking. It's been a while. We'll go running as well. In the middle of my training when I spot Kutulmish, also exercising. I look him up and down. Not only does he appear to be in good health, but he's in peak physical fitness. I love to measure my prowess against him. We'll do some sparring. And he wins. That's not surprising. We're old. Our prowess is going down with age. And drinking. It'd be cool if they had a feature of like different levels of drunkenness. It gets like worse and worse. Damn. All right. So it looks like we're going to continue next week with uh, more of King Lissandro.
Good to him. He has had one of the more interesting kind of stories, though, that's for sure. He's almost a living legend. If we get there, we'll be both a religious icon and a living legend, which would be fucking nice. Upgrade military camps. Upgrade the barracks. And we'll upgrade the health forts. See if we ever got that claim on Crete. No, we never did. We can fight the Pope for part of Italy. We're way too religious to do that, though. Upgrade all these trading hubs, too. Ah! I started start gaining vulgar language for many moons. I personally pinned this letter. That is the Duchess of Cerdania. Ah, oh, it's one of the vassals of our rivals, so we're gonna mock her for it. We have no respect from the peaceful from Barcelona. Except if they live within our own territory, of course. Hmm, what to do with this money? Love to do another war with Barcelona. Can we do it? No, artifact war. We could try and fight the HRE, but it would be fucking brutal. That's doable, though. Our daughter? Our daughter's husband has the claim on the whole fucking HRE. Oh, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stop here for the day, and when we continue next time, next week, when we continue King Lissandro and the story of House Torres, we are gonna be preparing for an invasion of the HRE to press the claim of our daughter, who has a matrilineal marriage uh, with an heir to the HRE. So if we put him on the throne of the HRE, a member of House Taurus will rule. It'll be rough. We might not win that war, but he is old and he is still ambitious. And while he still has health and life in him, he would certainly attempt to do something this, this grand and this crazy. So next week, next Sunday morning, we will continue this game. Our family has risen to great power. We have a great army. We have great trading cities. We have great wealth. We are at the height of our power for now, even with a tyrant on our throne. And his last act before he dies will be the, an attempt to place a member of his dynasty on the throne of the Holy Roman Empire. So that'll be next week. Alrighty. And we will stop here for today, and we're going to jump on over to Victoria 3. Alrighty. I'm going to go get that set up. Um, I'm going to put on, I think, the, the, the break screen I have. I hope it works. I set it up a while back. Uh, and then I will be back in probably like 10 minutes with the start of Vicky 3. We're going to be playing the Northern German Confederation, and we are one war away from a united Germany in that game. It's going to be a fucking spicy one. So we'll be back with that in just a few moments. So I am going to put on a break and then go get things set up. I will be right back. Hope everyone enjoyed. Uh, if you're only here to watch CK3, uh, I will be streaming again next Saturday properly. Uh, in the morning, we are going to have a Kaiserite game as I think probably I'm going to do uh, two Sicilies. And then in the afternoon... We are going to be doing the Alaric campaign in Fallen Eagle and CK3 again. So that'll be next Saturday. More Grand Campaign next Sunday morning. And then Vic, of course. All right, we'll be back in a few.